Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another live streamed session of our Crusader Kings 3 Maidens of Eastland playthrough. That music, man. That music. Oh, it is so good. Every time. What a thing to wake up to. Maybe this should be my, like, alarm, actually, now that I think about it. Not that I wake up to my alarm ever anymore. I've done such a good job with it. Folks! I hope you've had a wonderful, wonderful weekend behind you. I hope you've had wonderful Mondays so far. And I hope your Mondays are about to get better. <laughs> if, they're, if they're already amazing, even better. If they're not already amazing, then hopefully we'll get there. Hopefully we're all going to have a fantastic time. Party with the Pope when we come of age. But first, can we just take a moment to just enjoy... I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> the faces on these kids. Oh my god. I would not want to walk down... I would not want to be uh, on my on my tricycle, tricycling down a hotel hallway to be greeted by these three faces. Let me put it that way. A warm welcome to all of y'all who are joining us right off the bat today. We got Natalie P. We got Marcus. We got Ashley Dickerson. We have with us as well David B. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that conversation because I feel like I missed something something big over here. Jazzy B. How's it going? Classified. Kaspar Renson. How goes? How goes? Care Cup. Agreed. Crusader King's music is just so on point. Natalie Tran, how goes? Sean Chaitel, glad you can make it, buddy. And Ted Knight, how fares? First CK stream in a while, indeed. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope, uh, hope you have a good time today. Hope we, uh, hope we go through some very interesting, uh, interesting <laughs> adventures today. So, how's it going, How's it going? Definitely very bossy-looking children over here. Very, very like judgmental kids. It's, it's like. It's like they just caught you doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Or like you told, they caught you doing something you've told them not to do. And now they're just like betrayed. It's that look of angry betrayal on their face. Right? Maybe. <laughs> or maybe David B is more on point. Kids, what did you do? Nothing. What's all that blood? Nothing. <laughs> Corky Bowser, how's it going? Glad you can make it. And the C in CK3 today stands for child. I do think we have a court of children. We have we have quite a few children in our realm, don't we? Or at least we did. We do have a cat. That's true. We do have a cat right now, Jazzy B. You're right. Uh, and this is the first time I think I've ever had a cat in this game. I've always got dogs, but we've got uh, we got a cat now. Now I like dogs. I like dogs. Don't get me wrong. But I'm curious to see what decisions come with a cat because they are obviously very different animals, and I, I imagine they're, uh, they're 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 treated that way. Uh, what did I miss here? Uh, Marcus uh, on the road today. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, thanks for dropping by, buddy. I'm glad you could uh, you could you could give us a visit before you headed out. Enjoy the vod when you're watching it, and I hope you have a beautiful beautiful Monday. Uh, taking a look, making sure I didn't miss anything too wild. Yeah, looks like looks like looks like I caught I caught everything. Well, again, folks, thank y'all for joining in right off the bat today. It's going to be an interesting session, I think, as they always are. As they always are in Crusader Kings 3. I mean, you never know when something's going to just shock you and throw everything out the window. Uh, but I'm pretty excited for a couple of things. Uh, the, the biggest one being we should, unless, again, things go horribly wrong, we should uh, come of age. And because of our intrigue focus, um, we will be getting... XP faster when we choose an intrigue lifestyle, which means we can unlock the kidnapper perk a little bit sooner. And finally, after a literal generation of trying, after a literal generation of trying, we'll be able to get the Pope over uh, for a special party that we'll dedicate to him. I cannot wait. And we are actually, you're right, we are approaching the millennium. We will, we will come of age when we uh, hit the new millennium. What, uh, what's our birthday? 20th of July. Wow, that's kind of, that's a good spot. I didn't even notice that. That's kind of wild. Uh, Care Cup, has anyone ever told you that you have a super satisfying voice? Thank you very much. I appreciate that greatly. I, I do, I do get, I do get quite a few kind words about my voice and uh, it's, uh, it's quite nice. I, I appreciate it because uh, I'm one of those people who like, I know a lot of people are like this, but like you hate the sound of your own voice when you play it back on recording and stuff. <laughs> so uh, getting, I, I, I've got quite a few of those and that's definitely helped me feel a lot more comfortable i must be doing something right so thank you very much i appreciate it and jazz yeah you're right loki the cat we have i believe the first thing we did when we got the cat was actually pet loki yeah we did uh but it was we were stressed out at the time if i recall correctly we had a little bit of stress and what stress is a young child like this i mean probably the fact that their brother murdered their mother not not literally it was a she died during childbirth again a very sad thing because that was author 
But, uh, but hey, these things unfortunately happen. I think it's the first time it's ever happened to me, but obviously it had to be when it mattered. <laughs> it had to be when it mattered. But yeah, we do have a pet cat, Loki. It's actually a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a female cat. Hey, is there a word for a female cat? I just realized, like, for, you know, we have, for, for most other animals, they're coming to mind, but I can't think of a, a specific name for a female cat or, or a male cat. Like, is cat the feminine and, and I don't know, bobcat the masculine? I don't know. I'm, I'm thrown off here. But anyway, we have a, we have a female cat named Loki because we're a child and we don't, we don't care. We just like, we like the name. We are massive indeed. We are Ted Knight. Absolutely massive. Our conquests have been, uh, have been great in, uh, in, in scale and style, I would say. Uh, Kate Percy, how's it going? THC Dream 654, glad you can make it. Uh, the black haired kid looks like he could be the Norse version of Joffrey from Game of the Oh dear lord. <laughs> I need to have him killed before that starts to get realized. Um, but yes, our conquests have been great. And I mean, ignore the, uh, the multiple colors in the, uh, in the, in the, in the aisles over here right now. Uh, well, at least on the, on, on this island. Uh, we've got, uh, a bit of a, bit of infighting going on, that's all. The whales still needs to be put under our control. I'm hoping some of our vassals over here make some moves. These guys aren't all that strong. They have some allies, but again, not all that strong. So I, I really hope our vassals make some moves over here and finish the conquest of these islands uh, because our vassals did a fantastic job in Eastern Europe, though now they've introduced a little bit of border gore over here. Not a fan of that. But, uh, but no, our, our vassals are largely responsible for all this conquest you see. I think pretty much all this conquest you see uh, east of uh, east of like modern day Germany is 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 all our vassals work down over here as well. This is all our vassals doing. This oh god, I love this music so goddamn much. It's so good. Uh, this I I think we were maybe directly responsible for this, but even up over here right now, uh, our vassal over here from uh, Yamtaland is pushing up into Sapmi territory to to take this for us. Like I'm I'm so pleased with how our vassals have done. And actually, these guys at Angerman Land, are you uh, uh, a little too uh, a little too angry to become our vassals? That's unfortunate. I don't know if I. We could try and uh, eventually kidnap him, convert him, let him loose, and uh, and try and get him to uh, become our vassal. <laughs> I don't know if that would uh, work out. Major difference in tears, not his rightful liege. That's gonna that's gonna stop us. I think it's gonna have to be conquest, and I think we we might do that sooner rather than later. Actually, he has no friends or anything. We are not in the middle of a war. We just took over uh, the this mountain pass over here. That was our latest conquest. And while we are thinking of making a move towards uh, West Francia over here, because there are a couple of duchies. The timing of that music is, again, just absolutely on point. This is legit one of my favorite uh, OSTs uh, right now, the Northern Lords uh, OST. I will put that on when I'm, like, writing, uh, when I'm, like, just doing, like, anything. You know, sometimes when, when I can just have music on in the background, I'll, I'll throw this on. It's so good. So good. Uh, Keith, how's it going? Rejoice indeed. Rejoice indeed. Uh, Molly? Wait, hold on. It, Molly is the term? For a female cat? Hold on. We don't know about English, but in Dutch you have... Okay, so in Dutch you've got two terms. Uh, oh my god, she has to be... We should conquer ourselves a slice of pizza. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, artillery barrage, and now it's become deeper. I love hearing it. Oh, really? That's I'm I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that for for folks whenever that works out. I think I'm 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 more pleased with it now. But I think it's largely because a lot of folks were just like, yeah, this is great. And I was like, all right, cool. I guess I guess I'm wrong. I'm, I'm always willing to be uh, proven wrong. <laughs> Still fondly remember the. Uh... Oh man, that vassal from Magrebi Madness was absolutely amazing. Yeah, basically swallowed all of Spain for us as well as some of the islands around it, right? That was a, that was amazing. That showed the power of a of a powerful vassal. And then he became trouble for some. His, his next generations became trouble, I guess. I think it'd be uh, so awesome if you had an elite seal, shield swain guard. Maybe use your brothers and uncles. Yeah, we'll see. There's a lot of limitations to who can become a shield swain. They need to have a minimum prowess of I think it's twelve, uh, and they need to be a close family member. So it has to be like a brother or I don't know if uncles fall under close. I keep forgetting uh, where close actually falls. But uh, but there are some limitations. So we've had one shield swain in this campaign, but uh, but none since then. We'll see if we can get some more. I do like the idea of shield swains, just like I did of shield maidens at the beginning of this campaign. 
So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can we can we can get that going. But you know what? A slice of pizza and uh, and some champagne doesn't sound like a terrible idea, actually. Now that I think about it, uh, if we do go after champagne over here, I think we'll be okay. I don't imagine. Well, we we, we saw though the war uh, the the strength over here, the relative strengths, right? Like we we're, well, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, it's not going to be a problem. But what about over here for pizza over here? If I declare war over here, oh. <laughs> These guys are actually more serious business. It's because of all their allies. It's because of all their allies. And can I actually... Oh, you embarrass me with your silly claim over here. What are you the king of? Lotharingia. I must have uh, used him to push a push a claim previously. That, that must be what it was. Uh, Count Hugo's claims? No, these are all small claims. These are all small claims. And there's a couple of duchies here. I guess I'd go for Upper Lorraine. That would be the slice I chase, perhaps. Oh, they've actually got they've got more than uh, than I thought. Oh no, this is just allies within uh, within within Burgundy. It looks like. Um, so, what do you guys think? Do we do we chase after uh, again? <laughs> guess a slice of pizza and champagne first, or do we uh, do we tame the uh, the the angry men of Angerman Land? I know I'm butchering that pronunciation, by the way. It's it's in, it's it's entirely for the for the punmanship. Um, but I also am not 100 percent sure how to pronounce it correctly. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like this would be a quicker war up over here. They have no allies. There's three thousand of them, right? They might maybe be able to afford some mercenaries. We got fourteen thousand soldiers of our own. In a matter of two years, we skyrocketed our prestige to be exalted among men. As a child, we are one of the most powerful children in the world over here, and uh, and. Uh, that means we have one of the most powerful armies in the world over here. So I feel like, yeah, we, we could take this pretty quickly. It'll probably take us like 5-10 minutes to, to conquer that. And then we can come down here to, to take a bit of uh, West Frankian pizza. And I think that'll be that'll be good. Uh, Ireland, I think I'll wait on Ireland. We'll come, we'll loop back over here and, and finish them off um, in a bit, I think. The reason why I'm thinking about waiting is because of just how, like, broken apart it is for relatively, like, not little gains, but, like, slow gains, I guess. Like, you know, I can't, like, conquer this whole thing all at once unless I do a, a war for a kingdom. And these are pretty small kingdoms, right? And do I want to pull that trigger so early in my life? Who else might I hit with that, right? Lower Silesia is an ally. Uh, kingdom conquest war. I mean, eventually maybe Novgorod or something. That would be, that's a nice chunk of land. I mean, West Francia, if we do a, a, a kingdom war, I cannot believe we're already exalted among them. I mean, yeah, that's not a bad, uh, not a bad bit of conquest. I'm just hoping somebody else, I guess, becomes a bit more sizable and a bit more worth conquering in that way, you know? Uh, that, that's why I'm, I'm holding off on that. Not like you'll be able to catch the Pope anyway. Well, the Pope, the thing about Pope is, uh, <laughs> thing about Pope. The thing about Pope sounds like one of those crappy comedy movie titles. The thing about the Pope is uh, we'll be able to kidnap him soon enough. So uh, unless we have really bad, uh, uh, unless we have really bad luck, uh, we should be able to, to, to do the job. You know what? Let's go ahead and finish the uh, finish some work off over here. Help our uh, work with our vassal to expand our, our holdings up over here, and eventually we'll probably go up against Sapmi uh, over here, and and that might be the kingdom war that we declare. Because if we don't do a kingdom war, if we just try to conquer. Oh, you know what we might do over here? I'll, I'll tell you what we might do. Yeah, so these guys are all pretty, like, broken apart. What we might do over here is instead go for the Holy War for the kingdom here. What is this now? Just to reconquer some of my own lost territory, I guess. They, they, we could do a Holy War for the kingdom of Sapmi. Uh, they don't have... What's your faith? You are... Um, Ukunusko. So I don't think there are too many people who follow this faith. Uh, that'll join in on the action. And even if they do, I don't think I'm too worried about them. It's not like going to war with Christendom, you know? Christendom? Christendom? Uh, it's not like going to war with uh, <laughs> with Christianity. So we might do that. You know, so yeah, let's go ahead and take uh, uh, Anger Man Land first. I, I actually don't. I, I do want to know how to pronounce that properly now, the more I say it. Especially since now it's going to be ours again. Cruz Aider, thank you very much for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the show, buddy. If you are, again, you know what to do. That goes for all of y'all in chat right now. If you're enjoying the show, if you'd like to see more Crusader Kings 3, if you'd like to see more live streaming on the channel, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a, a like down below. And if you're watching the VOD, a like and a comment as well. I do read the comments on uh, on VOD, so if you have uh, an opinion you want to share, any thoughts you want to share, 
uh, feel free to do so down below. Actually, on that note, before we declare this war, just want to mention, um, our, uh, it's not this guy, because this is the guy that we put back in place. Can I, can I find the person I just murdered? Oh my god, I've killed so many children. <laughs> I've killed so many children. Where is the guy I just had killed? Oh, you know what? Let's go to secrets. I had him murdered. Why is it? It's not even a secret of mine. The, 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 the guy that I had killed, a vassal of mine that, you know, overstepped his bounds and made himself my chancellor. I had him killed. It was pointed out to me in the comments, it's a very good point, that his feudal contract is what allowed him to take that position. And uh, that feudal contract still exists for his, like, children and stuff. So uh, we might still have somebody who gets a little uppity and decides they want a council position. Uh, so we can't just kill that person endlessly. Uh, at one point, we will have to... Um, at one point, we will basically have to, like, modify that contract, become known as a bit of a tyrant for it, unless we give something in return. We'll, we'll see about that. But until that time comes... Uh, we're not going to have too much trouble having people uh, assassinated for wronging us in that way. We did kill him, yes, Sahara 2020, but that the contract passes on to his uh, inheritor, right? So uh, we'll, so we'll still, there's still somebody out there with that same feudal contract until I modify the contract. So we might have to do that. Uh, and agreed, the Holy War music can be epic. Though I think the Holy War music is always the, um, the, the, the same old Holy War music, right? It's not, it's not Norse Holy War music, unless I'm mistaken. I, I do like the war declaration music with the uh, northern lords. But let's go for it. Let's go ahead and conquer. Oh, please tell me. Oh, why you got to do this to me? Why you got to do this to me? I wish I could conquer the whole damn thing at once. Hmm. I go for the subjugation. I could go for the subjugation. It's not a, not a small piece of land. Because can't, you can't subjugate everybody. There's specific uh, rules for who you can and can't subjugate. I could try and subjugate this guy down the line. What's your claims? Nothing major. Try and subjugate. I'm trying to figure out like what I want to save that subjugation war for, basically. Like, if I go for the, the duchy over here, it'll be a small strip. It won't be everything. If I go for the subjugation over here, it's such a tiny tract of land, whereas I could do that for against Sapmi instead, you know? Bigger war, I guess. Bigger war, but, oh, it's not going to be a problem. I don't want to declare that right now, though, because he's currently uh, in at war with one of my vassals, and if I declare a war, then that w vassal war gets uh, invalidated because his liege has declared war, so I don't want to do that right away. So fine, we'll take one duchy from these guys. And then we'll loop back around. Yeah, we'll save the subjugation for, for Sapmi, I think, yeah. Uh, uh, Swedish pronunciation. Ooh, I cannot read uh, IPA that, uh, that, that quickly. I don't know what that flipped C with the accent or that N at the beginning is, <laughs> unfortunately. I know I can read some IPA immediately, but not, not all of it. Master Basser, thank you very much for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the show, buddy. If you are, you know what to do again. Let me know down below. Hit that like button. It does make a big difference. Just let me know what people want to see on the uh, the channel. Uh, take out the feud in the... Wait, I don't I don't follow that one, Natalie P. I don't follow that one. Uh, Jazzy, yes, the original Holy War music. It is. It is a very, it is a very, very good uh, track for sure. Still waiting for party to notice what, Sacketh. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Glad you can make it. If that's what you mean, uh, noticing you in chat, then uh, boom, done. But if you mean something, a huge mistake I'm about to make, please be more forthcoming. <laughs> Making sure I haven't uh, lost anything over here. <laughs> the thing about the Pope is that he's a Pokemon. Listen. <laughs> Listen. And yeah, Natalie P. Actually, that's, a, that's, a fun, that's, a, that's an interesting point. Because like, the, the game actually changes all references to... Uh, when we changed our faith to uh female dominated it changed all references to men uh into women actually so anytime we uh we have any event that used to reference like oh all the let's say men of the land are invited and now it instead says all the women of the land are invited but it doesn't it doesn't do that for exalted among men uh <laughs> it doesn't do that for exalted among men honor a how's it going hey hey uh, the only mistake you made is not conquering india by now that's yeah, a bit of a journey that's a bit of a journey i guess but we might make it there we might make it there all right <laughs> eventually we might make it there uh, let's go ahead and conquer Duchy. I guess I'll take Norland. It's the one that makes the most sense. We could do that as well, but 
Let's go with Norland, sure. Now let's declare that war. This music has gone a little too calm for me. Let's go ahead and declare that war and get the job done over here. Uh, no allies? Yeah, that should be easy. I always get so nervous declaring a war. God, it's so good. <laughs> it's just so brilliant. I'm still not tired of it. And I've heard it how many times now? Uh, I want to not raise literally everybody here. Just enough to overwhelm them, right? So maybe let's get to like 5k. 5k because it, it, it makes supply management easier as well. But what do we have here? Loki, the troublemaker. My vassal, Lady Huld, approaches me. Rage in her eyes and cat in her hand. Held by the scruff of its neck. As she thrusts the cat in my face, I see that it's my dear Loki. I found this little monster among my things. What wasn't scratched to bits was covered in piss. Oh, I see. So instead of taking a crap everywhere, the cat just takes a leak everywhere. Fair enough. Pope on a rope is still very much on the table, Huck Houston. Absolutely. And now we might actually be able to get him on a rope because uh, we're, we're going to be a bit of a kidnapper when we finally come to come, come of age. <laughs> we will definitely be a, uh, a, a bit of a kidnapper. Kenny Baird, thank you very much for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the show, buddy. If you are, you know what to do. Let me know down below. Hit that like button. Epic Norse, mo Norse music indeed. And over here, yeah, she's just a cat. We're not going to count. Who do you think you are? Another child. This is really a court of kids, isn't it? Anyway, uh, she's just a cat. Relax. Relax. I'm busy with more important matters over here. But yeah, let's get up to 5k and then we'll move in. I also want to make sure my men-at-arms actually join this army, unlike that last war where we started without our men at arms. So let's go ahead and push you over, raise all the men at arms as well, and then we'll move in. And that should take us to a decent number between men at arms as well as our uh, uh, levies over here. Come on now. It looks like these guys are trying to counter, uh, counter siege maybe. It's fine. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? I do love how long it takes for all of our... Um, men arms to arrive because they're i guess coming all the way from uh from from the island right from from eastland right uh what is this marriage my champion has married my dad whoa hey ha what why did why did we do this oh it's because you're a genius is that why why did i do this this must have been a betrothal from uh from a while ago or something when did that happen Yikes. Okay, well, hey, it is what it is. Oh, you know what it must have been? No, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure when that happened. I'm not sure when that would have happened. Uh, all right, why don't we go ahead and move you 2,000 men-at-arms. That is no joke. Uh, why don't we go ahead and split off new army. Let's get our uh, siege equipment to join in over here. And the rest of y'all, let's go ahead up this way. Can we not... Just don't want to take even more attrition than I'm already taking. From all the way up to there. We're not going to suffer any attrition. Looks like it. Like, looks like we're not. So, let's go for it. Cool. You can do two rally points and raise the men at arms separately. Yeah, I could probably, I, I should have probably done that. I keep forgetting that uh, it was after after a patch, I think, that they changed how, um, how raising works, if I recall correctly. And I keep forgetting that, uh, that men at arms aren't the first thing, because I think they used to be the first thing to be recruited. I could be wrong. I could be mixing this up. Oh, here we go. Didn't I say this last time, that as soon as I declare war, we're going to have some of these peasants uh, rise up? Here we are. We will not stand for your vile oppression of good Czech Slo Slovianskins any longer. Our time is now at hand. With Perun guiding us, we will rise up and free ourselves from your heathen rule. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. The blathering Fjolkir ear. Mere humors rot in your living body. If it is war you want, then you shall have it. We will not let anybody stop us from forming a new realm for ourselves. Alright, let's rally the troops over here. Uh, again, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I've got, uh, I've got how many troops in reserve? We'll be okay. No men at arms down here, though, which is a little unfortunate, but I don't think that'll be too problematic for us. Let's go ahead and raise them up over here. We'll push them in. I think what we'll get to like another 10k or something over here. I don't think we'll need men at arms. I just need to make sure that I'm paying attention so that I don't uh, 
lose an army pointlessly, you know? What I should have actually done here. There it is. What I should have done is I should have, like, found out which army was being led by the ruler and then chased after that to immediately crush the, uh, the rebellion. But you know what? It's okay. We'll have a bit of a field day. Get a couple extra uh, kills in. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, I'm Kai J. How's it going, buddy? A wizard is never late. You know how it is. I'm glad you can make it, though. Kill the peasants? Oh, of course. But of course, without question, without hesitation. At least we'll get another new high marshal recruit soon. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Did we recruit the other one? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think we did. Oh, we did. Well, we recruited him because of his faith thing. So yeah, I guess we'll do the same thing here. Uh, just for those of you that missed it last time, we had a, uh, a religious rebellion um, last time. And uh, after crushing the rebellion, we recruited the prisoner and forced their conversion to our faith, just to add insult to injury. Uh, and they were pretty capable, uh, they, had, they had decent martial skill, yeah. So uh, we might do the same thing over here as well. All right, the Onagers over here should speed up the siege, so that's good. Down over here, we're almost done. <laughs> Not even close, actually. Still got about a month left. Ooh, what do we have here? My skilled vassal. Well, before we read this, just want to say, Beast Orpha, how's it going? Uh, can't you at least max out the Onager? Oh, yeah, true. Okay, fine. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. It's just, yeah. I guess, I guess I shouldn't worry about that. Look how quickly we, we nabbed so much prestige. But you're right. Why don't we go ahead, and before I get distracted by anything else, I uh, get ourselves, bam, bam, bam. There you go. Because that's a good point. That'll speed up the siege, sieges significantly. Now, it won't be for this war, but for wars to come. That's a good point. Uh, David Lozano, I can't stay. Good luck with the Peasant Revolt. Thank you very much. Thanks for dropping by. And if you're watching the VOD, then I hope you're enjoying the VOD. But uh, thanks for coming through, buddy. Have yourself a uh, wonderful Monday. Uh, convert the King of Bohemia and Luth uh, uh, Lotharingia. Let me see. Lotharingia, where is our? There you are. He is Catholic, you're right. Oh, okay. Uh, not a very high chance. Maybe we'll give it some time. Maybe we'll give it some time, and then he'll uh, he'll be easier to convert. I mean, yeah, I could like throw him in jail and stuff, but let's see if we can't get him to like us a little bit first. So that's uh, that's that, and and sorry, uh, Bohemia. Don't think we have. Do we have a king of Bohemia? Where's my vassals? Got a lot of champions. But this doesn't say, does it? Sweden. Poland, I'm sure I do. I I didn't I, I didn't think so. Maybe I'm mistaken. Doesn't sound like a kingdom under me. But you know I've got oh I I guess I do. I've got so many vassals I've started to lose track. Also, I think the shape of Bohemia is a little different from what it is in the real world, right? <laughs> That's why I was also having uh, trouble uh, spotting it. Slimianskin. Okay, what if I demand your... Uh, he might accept. That's all we can tell. Chances are he'll ask for something in return, though. Maybe let's wait until that short reign is done or, or something. And until the tyrant situation is gone, at least a little bit. And then we'll convert him. He's really unhappy about that human sacrifice, eh? Yeah, let's wait until these guys are a little bit happier with this before we try it. Uh, just in case they demand something in response, you know? Just in case. Uh, by the way, folks, I just want to check something. There's no flickering happening on the stream or anything, right? Uh, I got some suggestions with regards to stuff that'll help with the, the Streamlabs issues we've been having lately. And I, um, I don't want to say anything. Hopefully they've helped. Uh, but uh, as a result of it, I'm seeing flickering on my end on Streamlabs. But I want to make sure it's not actually happening on stream. So y'all let me know if, uh, if it is. I imagine if it was, then y'all would let me know already. But in case, uh, in case it is happening and, and no one's noticed... I guess I should have left it that way, but I would like to know. I want to make sure it's a good viewing experience, obviously. No flickering? Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Swoosh, kid. How's it going, buddy? The, why, the king of Bohemia reminds you of Kaladog? Uh, maybe the name of the, the kingdom is so similar. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Uh, convert their heirs. I mean, we could... How, how old are they, though? Um, I mean, this guy... I guess he does have an heir, technically. I don't think they'll be easy to convert. I guess, what's he going to do? What's he gonna do if he if he doesn't uh, convert? The thing is, his dad might just convert him back, or his his liege might just convert him back. We've we've had that happen to us in the past. All right, my skilled vassal, my vassal Jarl Ingolfer has proven himself highly capable, especially in martial matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the county of, oh dear, Slesi, my liege, <laughs> with your blessing, of course. Uh, 
If anybody knows how to say that, feel free to teach me. Uh, take the reins, or vassals shouldn't be taking such liberties. No, no, no. I should allow him to take the reins. I'm considering him to be sort of like a... What's it called? Uh, you, oh, my God. Regency kind of a thing, you know. These vassals and stuff, they need to take a bit of control while I'm still a child. I can perhaps learn from them. Um, yeah, sure, go for it. Costs a bit of uh, prestige, but that's okay. Take the reins, Ingolfur. Go for it, buddy. It costs us prestige because it, we look as though we are surrendering some direct control to a vassal of ours. That's why. And that's, that's, that's fine. I'm a kid. I'm a child. My spy master doesn't like me, does he not? Only, only a little bit. Could probably send a gift to fix that. Not fans of that tyranny, eh? It's because I had to kill that guy to, to make room for this guy. And ironically, he hates us as well because of tyranny. It's just like, buddy, it was for you. It was for you. Foreign culture group. I see. Short rain will be gone. I could send a little gift over here. We need to make sure that we don't get murdered by our uh, spy master. So let's go ahead and send a little gift over here. There you go. <laughs> you need to know who to keep in your pocket, right? Front and back. What is this? Why are we at... Uh... Oh, we're, we're, we're in the same war. That's why. We're not at war with each other in any way, but we, we have similar targets. So It's fine. Finding it speed too just because i've got these two um two wars basically but now that these guys have been raised i don't think i have to worry as much we should be okay push in who is this lady this commander over here 71 years old jarl Halla. oh my god the how bound scholar bit of a drunkard i i like her she's dope oh my god she's a genius well not actually but you know what i mean a learning of 30 just lazy. She's just lays in, in bed reading uh, books all day, I guess. Oh my god. These are some good stats. Just a 70 year old lady crushing these rebels is probably the last act of her life over here. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Uh, old El Sartre, I mean, I guess I could convert these guys. Again, the might accepts always throw me off because they, they always want the. Uh, uh, there's always that hook they can come back with. You're already the right faith. You are the right faith. And you are the right faith. But most of them are the right faith. So, I mean, this guy has to be the right faith. So I'm not too too concerned about the one one person. They'll 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 come around eventually. We almost done here? No. Ooh. Okay, let's keep an eye on this. That is four thousand. And yeah, we've got men at arms over here, but uh, defending in the forest that can be pretty uh, pretty bad. Oh, it looks like we'll be fine actually. I don't know how I feel. You know what? Let's go ahead and push up to there. See if we can get out and then and then have them uh I guess it's the taiga, right? Oh we should be okay then. We should be okay. Alright, let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? We lose all of our men at arms? Highly unlikely. Let's push down over here. Crush this rebellion quickly and then not have to give it a second thought. We can stay focused up over here. Ooh, okay. Go ahead and station besiegers, send the rest up over there. Hopefully they'll arrive in time. And our onagers are staying back. Let's go ahead and see if we don't have a commander who can actually speed up sieges as well. Not one that's available. So, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, let's see what happens over here. We might still win this. Military outpost constructed in Como. I've got so many, like, constructions and stuff going on that aren't even in my realm. <laughs> and some that are in my realm. 71 years old. Granny Hala. Hell yeah. The damn girl. I mean, 70 years old leading an army. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Liz Purr, uh, in Canada? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta actually vote uh, after the stream as well. We're gonna go to uh, the polls and, and, and vote. Today's gonna be interesting. It's the stream, and then I vote. I don't know how long that's gonna take. Um, and then I uh, come back home, record, and then uh, try and pay attention to the election results. It's gonna be an interesting day. Uh, so far, so good, Omkar J. So far, so good. And uh, I don't want to jinx it, but if it is, then it's thanks to the uh, advice of Spindle, who's not here right now, but, uh, but if he is watching the VOD, uh, or, 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 or just as a note to everybody, I think he had the uh, solution, but we'll see. We'll find out. It's still too early to tell. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh, Queen Geetha over here. Isn't that one of my... Uh, yeah, that's my cousin. I hope she sees success over there. It would be unfortunate if she didn't. And then down over here. Why must these wars be so far apart from each other? Yeah, we'll get there in time. They're not going to have the, uh, the, the the holding. All right, let's see. What do we got over here? Bring us glory. Oh, look at that. We're like... Oh, a little bit of... 
a little bit of damage being done, but we were outnumbered two to one and just absolutely obliterated the enemy over here. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> and I think I caught a known for our dedication to our faith. Absolutely, of course. The slaughter at Bitten. I wanted to see details. I thought I saw a pretty cool event happen there. Our champion, Lady Ingeth Ingerther, rampaged the enemy soldiers and became a berserker. Always nice to catch these. I captured... Oh... Uh, you know, I've actually never noticed that this uh, this shows up in uh, in the events, but of course it does. But of course it does. That's neat. There's actually a mod out there that I kind of want to um, maybe pick up for maybe the next playthrough, uh, just in case it breaks this one. Uh, but it's a, it's a mod that basically treats prisoners like loot from a raid, which I think is really interesting because basically you don't actually get the prisoner until you bring them back... Uh, back to your uh to your lands which makes sense right because like just like money from a from a raid doesn't come home until it's been brought home prisoners from a war don't come home until they've been brought home so i kind of like the idea of that mod and i am uh, i'm tempted to pick that up for our next playthrough imagine if vassals were this useful in banner lord not a chance not a chance oh we did have a joffrey i believe this battle is done down over here Unfortunately, we didn't get to capture the uh, the leader of the rebellion in that battle, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. This army has barely taken any losses. It's kind of ridiculous. Get up over here. Let's not pointlessly suffer from attrition. Station besiegers and everybody else can step out. Oh god, these lands are so very harsh. Okay, let's go ahead and like pull you down here, and then we'll split them in half or something. But we're almost done. This war is almost over. Oh, that's not good. Are you for real here? Are you for real? Like, why are you gonna? Why you want to do this? What, what? What do we have against each other? Let me win this. God damn. Put my cousin in charge over here. There we go. That'll turn things around. I was a little surprised at first. I was like, how are we going to lose such a close battle? Victory is ours. Um, unfortunately, the war is not yet done. Damn. Okay. Looks like we are gonna have to fight this battle then. Oh. Oh. Okay. This was unexpected. <laughs> this was unexpected. Hello, YT. Catching me live for the first time. Love the VODs. Well, hey, glad you can make it today. Glad to hear you've been enjoying the VODs. And I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, the live experience as well. Thanks for, uh, thanks for coming through. Everyone hates a little child and stops from doing stuff. <laughs> I mean, they hated my parents as well, to be fair. My grandparents, too, probably. This is, uh, this is not ideal. He wants to make you angry. That's why he's diving into this. This is, uh, this is not ideal. I really hope this uh, 21 advantage in our favor is enough. But it might not be. And I do not want to lose Queen Geetha over here. She's quite the, uh, quite the asset. She's also pregnant right now, so that would be very unfortunate. I hope she's able to turn that around, or at least I hope these reinforcements are able to arrive in time. Huh. And then we have this war. By the Northmen army, the conquest of the Yardom of Moray. Alright. Fair enough. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. It seems that there is no recourse for our dispute other than to settle it on the battlefield. How threatening are you? 9,000 strong. Again, we can take care of them, but we're just in the middle of two other wars is the problem. This one's almost done, I think. This one, okay, this is going to be interesting. Rally the troops, of course. Let's see what comes of this. Come on, turn around. Come on. Reinforcements are coming through as quickly as possible. They're not going to be here quickly enough. Not a chance. Though I have gained... An I'm the living legend. I am the living legend at the age of just nine. Kind of wild. This is also kind of wild. No man-at-arms or anything, so there was no chance over here, unfortunately. I shouldn't have put... Uh, Geetha in charge, but hopefully she's she's able to get away with her life. Come on. Get out of there. Okay, looks like we're good. Ooh, the Northern Menace. Love these events. I love these events. Uh, will I play King's Bounty 2 in the future? And you don't like, do I know a game called Heroes of Might and Magic? Yes, I do know Heroes of Might and Magic. I will, I will not be playing Heroes of Might and Magic until there's a new one, perhaps, on the channel. King's Bounty 2? No, I won't be covering that on the channel, unfortunately. I did not have a uh, good time with the game. I do have a review. Uh, you can see my opinion and, and where it comes from uh, on the channel. But I will not uh, be playing King's Bounty 2 on the channel, no. 
Didn't have a good time. <laughs> Did not have a good time with that one. It was a, it was a struggle to get through. And it was a struggle to write that review. Oh my god. It's the thing, it's like, uh, it sounds like all fun and games until you, until you have to slog through a game that's absolutely like, oof. <laughs> and then it's not fun in games, it's, it's, it's disdain in games, it's pain in games, I guess. Alright, I don't think the kid knows the meaning of the word living legend, no, the phrase living legend, I don't think so, no. I don't think so. <laughs> Ashley Dickerson bringing back a classic, caress the like button like you're in a latrine with it. Dear lord, how long ago was that? That was like months ago now, <laughs> there's a fond memory, oh my god. Alright, the northerner menace. A horde of disjointed pirates, landless freemen, desperate lesser children, and other assorted miscreants have joined Sigurbjorn in his proposed assault against my holdings. Although the size of the force is formidable, they lack discipline or loyalty, with each scrounged mercenary focused exclusively on what they can get out of the war first and foremost. Unlike a conventional foe, it might be possible to simply deal directly with the invaders. Perhaps a bargain could be struck. So this will give me stress, why? I guess just because we're fighting. If it's land they want, why not give it to them? Not a chance in hell. Not a chance in hell we're going to give them land. He becomes my vassal, I guess. Okay, is he a worthwhile vassal? He wouldn't be a champion of ours because he's male. He'd have to, he'd have to follow our doctrine, so he wouldn't be a champion. He's lazy, gluttonous, impatient. He's a berserker. I mean, good for him. Not uh, not worth uh, landing, I don't think. Not worth landing. And, and I mean, come on. This is our land. Why should we hand it off to somebody else? Moray belongs to who? Um, you don't have it directly. The Aldom of Moray belongs to, yeah, one of my Catholic Anglo-Saxon vassals. Hmm. Kingdom Come Deliverance, Sacketh? Yeah, I played uh, quite a bit of it. It eventually fell off the channel just because interest waned and... Like, not mine, but like viewer interest, Wayne. So I have to you know, keep that in mind, obviously. And there were a lot of bugs at the same time that were murdering my like will to play the game. I, I was playing it right when it first came out. I'm sure it's been very patched since then, but yeah. <laughs> I played some KCD. Why does a pirate need... What does a pirate need with land anyway? Somewhere to store... Somewhere, somewhere to, to hide all that treasure, I guess. Hmm... I'm going to do Stellaris for old time's sake. I did start a Stellaris thing that I was going to release on the channel, and I never got around to finishing it. I might, I might do a Stellaris thing. It is tempting. I do like Stellaris quite a bit. Stellaris, sorry. Stellaris, Stellaris. Ah, yeah, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to give them more right. We have history up here. That's a good point, chat. That's a good point. We have history up here. In my experience, soldiers prefer gold to glory. I'm not about to just pay them off. We'll banish these invaders as we've always done. I see. So this stresses me out because of how boisterous it is, but it's not really against our character or anything. Uh, what, what is our character? What is our character like? We don't really have much. We're charming. So I guess this would be an attempt to charm all of our vassals, not necessarily the person we're speaking to, but all of our vassals, so they can hear us say, never. Back to your frozen hellscape home of a home. Hellscape of a home, scum. And just like that, we're in three uh, relatively big wars. <laughs> Two have been taken care of, though. We, sh we should be fine here. We should be fine here. This is a hot mess that we should have never been in. This conquest will be done soon, and that'll be the war done. Uh, Ashley Dickerson, it was destroyed by the Murder Hornets. Sorry, what was destroyed by Murder Hornets? Oh, no. <laughs> These guys are pulling real far back. Okay, now we've got a scandalous priest on our hands. Oh my lord, these guys are pulling... Where are you? Why are you going that way? <laughs> I can think of a shorter route, but okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll, we'll be okay, though. Again, all of our men-at-arms are still up. These guys outnumber anybody else on the, uh, on, uh, on the, on the battlefields here. We'll be fine. The Alessandro world was shocked to learn that my cousin, Queen Gita, regularly fails to properly punish those who do not fulfill their responsibilities, preferring instead to give them a second or even third chance before punishing them. While scandals among the elders are nothing new, it is disquieting for one to occur so close to home. I could condemn her for her transgressions. Do we get along? We get along decently enough. She'll be a little upset at me when, when I when I um, when I uh, condemn her, but I think she uh, I think she deserves it. This is probably why she lost her battle over here. Had she been more, uh, had she adhered more to the faith and, and punished people properly, she would have probably brought us a victory. Here is the logic of this child. 
Um, so, uh, yeah. I will condemn her for her transgressions. How dare you betray us, the entire Osatru world like this, my cousin. How dare you. Only a little bit of hate. She'll get over it. She, she'll understand it was necessary. Now this should be a, a sound crushing over here. There we go. That's looking good. Real good. Our champion rampaged the enemy soldiers and became a berserker. Love seeing it. There's our victory. Beautiful. I'm going to actually hunt these guys down and punish them for what they did to me. As long as it happens while this war is still going on, I want to crush these fools. Make them pay the price. Oh, 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 oh Ashley. I see. I got you. Got you. Sorry, I wasn't following there. My bad. <laughs> yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance. That was a fun game, though. I could get back into it. I don't know if I do it on the channel, but I could get back into it for sure. Support. Concerned for my current war, my friend Sif has paid out of her own treasury to aid my efforts. I'm sorry. Do I look like I need money here? But fair enough. I couldn't be more thankful. It does de-stress me a little bit. Probably good for a child to not be so stressed out all the time. Oh, my bully over here. The never-ending torment that Orvar subjects me to has got to stop. He teases me mercilessly, pushing me around and humiliating me. This cannot continue. It is time I showed him who he's messing with. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I can martial challenge him. Yo, are you for real? <laughs> okay. Or we can talk about how he's been behaving. So equal chances of success either way. Now, all right, look. We are a charmer. We are a charmer. Right? But this guy's been pushing us around. He's been a real bully. He's been a real bully, and I feel like we could turn this around on him. Look at that. We're a victim. We're a victim here. I feel like we do the martial challenge. I feel like we do the martial challenge over here. What do you guys think? I don't feel like it's too far out of character, because again, like you might be a charming individual, but if somebody keeps bullying you, pushing you around, and getting other kids to hate you, at one point, you, you flip, right? At one point, you flip. Every time I have a bully, I murder their family at 18 or take their holdings away. Dude. I like that. That's some that's some Cartman level stuff. This kid's my uncle? Oh, we're, we're a little too related, unfortunately. Any family of his that I kill is family of mine. But you know, that's a it's a good idea to kill bullies and uh, to kill bullies families and 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 make chili out of them. That's the next step. I think we do a martial challenge over here. How's a 7-year-old kid your uncle? Listen. <laughs> Orvo, how, how are we related? My grandmother is his grandmother. So that means he is the son of... Yeah, wait, how does that work? How is he my uncle? Orvo. Oh my god. There's so many. I wish you could, like, search this. So, okay, where are we? We're over here. That's our mother. Our grandmother would be... Well, same grandfather as well. Uh, Orvar would be along this line. Orvar, Orvar, where are you? I'm actually... Yeah, I'm, th there's Orvar. So, Orvar is... How, do you, how does Orvar have the same grandmother as me... And also the same... Wait. Wait. Is that an uncle? That's an uncle? I, I, I guess. So there you go. That's how, that's how he's my uncle. <laughs> brother of my father. I guess so? Is he the brother? I, look, man. It's not even 11 in the morning over here. <laughs> I'm struggling. I guess he was just born a lot later, I guess. Yeah. I, I guess so, yeah, I guess I'm just super young. Fair enough. Anyway, let's beat the crap out of him. Uncle or no uncle. Let's let's make him say uncle, huh? I better goddamn win this after that. Come on, about how you've been behaving. Damn it! <laughs> Orvar beat me up. He's younger than me. He's a dwarf. He's got less prowess than me. He's got significantly less prowess than me, but I guess it's that marshal that matters, and he manages to beat me up. Been very quickly healed over here thanks to our excellent, excellent... Um, <laughs> drunken uh, doctor over here, but uh, my god, of course I had to go sideways. I'm still chasing after these guys, right? Let's go, come on, crush them. If they're inviting, increase your prowess, excellent, good for you. 
And we have won this war, but I just kind of want to drag it on ever so slightly. These are not of concern to me. Where are these Northmen? What's left of this uh, uprising here? 986 soldiers. Oh, up there. Okay. Go ahead and... Um, send the 3,849 up over here. And the 5,437. Let's go ahead and bring them, I guess... Where is... Your army? Do you guys... Uh, do you guys actually intend to do anything over here? Are you... Ah, there they are. Okay. 8,000 strong. Let's go ahead and pull these 5,400 up to whereabouts. Let's say up to uh, here. Bring them close, but not to the point that we get crushed. Bring these guys down afterwards. Let's bring them like close again, and then we'll, we'll regroup over here. And then this 1,000 strong, that's our many of our men-at-arms. These guys are coming into fight, eh? That's not ideal. Ah, maybe I should end this war. Maybe I should end this war. We'll punish these guys later. Fair enough. Fair enough. I am I am supposed to be a genius, right? I'm not particularly uh I'm not much of a like a grudge gr gr a grudging type, not just quite yet. <laughs> not just quite yet. You're going to get away this time, buddy. He is also technically one of my vassals, isn't he? Come on. Yeah, you're one of my vassals. I, I can't I, I don't understand why you would have done that. A rogue, uh, rogue commander, I suppose. But hey, let's end this northern conquest of the Jarldom of Norland. Force our demands. No prisoners or anything of value. We'll be fine. How's Halthor doing? He's doing all right. He's he's moved to a different court now, unfortunately, because uh, his uh, I think we landed his mother. I think it was. Um, but yeah, we we moved to a, a different uh, moved to a different court. Your grandmother is his mother. Oh, you're right. I was reading that incorrectly. That's what happened there, Jazzy. Thank you. Yes. Morning, Bright. I was, I was reading that wrong. I was reading that as his grandmother. Not my grandmother. The tooltip was saying my grandmother under his mother's section. All right. Okay, cool. Yes, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and enforce our demands over here. Take, the, uh, take all this territory for ourselves. One more done. Two more to go. Victory is ours. So be it. I take pity on these fools because I'll be coming for them uh, shortly again. Uh, but let's go ahead and yeah, move. You're all moving down over here. We'll regroup and, and crush this army. We're crushing this rebellion over here as well. Yeah, we'll be good. And then we'll go after uh, Sapmi next, I think. After this war here is done, I would really like to see this war end in, 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 in our favor. But it doesn't seem to be happening. We'll see what comes of it. Uh, but then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll declare that war on Sapmi. Maybe after some champagne and pizza, though. Huge human sacrifice party at 1000 AD. Uh, Jose Niles, that is a good idea. That is a very good idea. And thank you for that super chat as well. Again, as I've said countless times before, I'll say it again. They make a very big difference in just keeping this channel and these streams alive and running smoothly. Makes it all sustainable. So I appreciate it greatly, buddy. Thank you very much. And I like that idea. Huge human sacrifice in seven years' time. Are we going to be able to? Because we did do a grand blot. Excellent. Wow. Okay. That's a good point. We'll, we'll save this one up. Let's make sure we don't jump the gun on this one. We'll save this one up for the year 1000, at which point we will have come of age, but I don't know if we will have uh, unlocked the kidnapper perk just quite yet. But we can try it. We can try it. I need to remember that. I need to remember that. All right, my Uncle Orbar. So this is actually opportune. Uh, yeah, see, parents, his parents, my grandmother, and I was busy in my head at attributing grandmother to his grandmother. Threw me off. My bad. My bad. Turn off the Millennium Sacrifice. Oh, Turn of the Millennium Sacrifice. Yeah, exactly. Gotta have a big one, right? Gotta have a special one. I really hope we can get the Pope for it. My God. I really hope we can get the Pope for it. <laughs> for your feast, you could get some nice flat, be flat bread from Pita. My God. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right, a threatening figure. Whenever I see my Uncle Orvar, he has come up with some new way of tormenting me. He tipped over a candelabrum and put the blame on me. He scares me, but what can I do? At least I'm getting very good at hiding. I will not be a craven. I want to stay in my room all day. Not a chance. Maybe I could get him hanged for it. Oh. None of these are ideal. <laughs> None of these are ideal, but I might go with the arbitrary. Certainly not going to, going to uh, get good at hiding over here. 
I don't think we'd become particularly lazy either. I mean, lazy, lazy maybe. Lazy's a maybe. Arbitrary seems most uh, most likely. It's also fitting with sort of uh, you know what uh, what we're good at already. You know, it, it bumps up our intrigue a little bit, adds to our dread, our natural dread. People are a little worried, scared of an arbitrary uh, leader. Hurts our stewardship, but it's already one of our poorest skills, and hurts our learning as well. Also, already one of our poorest skills. So it's it's us kind of leaning into who we are from a skills perspective. After he beat you up, I feel like that's motivation to get him hanged. There's also that exactly. I don't know how arbitrary this is. He beat up the sovereign. He he beat up the high queen. I think he deserves to be hung. No. <laughs> God. I think uh, yeah, maybe I could get him hanged for it. Oh, this is horrifying. Do I actually get him hanged for it, or is this just a passing thought? Okay, it's just a passing thought. But, I say that. Oh, he's a... He is a rival. I will be able to challenge him to trial... Not trial by combat, but I will be able to challenge him to a duel when we both come of age. It, it's separate from trial by combat. I should be able to challenge him to a duel when we come of age. Oh, you know what? That'll be good. That'll be a, a proper comeuppance for him. These guys are coming through over here. These guys are coming up over here. Yeah, we'll be good. Hung, drawn, and quartered. Yeah, for real. All these wars are probably normalizing brutal violence in your eyes, so do it. That's a good point. I like, uh, yeah, I like the way you think there. That's a, that's, a, that's some good points. You raised some very good points. Huck Houston, we were worried about our computers killing us instead. Oh, man, I remember the Y2K craze. I remember, oh, it was wild. Everybody was like, oh, no. And, and I guess quite a few systems did need to be adjusted, right? I mean, what I've learned since then is that, yeah, there were, there were quite a few things that needed to be uh preemptively fixed it wouldn't be the end of the world but you know a lot of services would have struggled if uh if things hadn't been ha hadn't been fixed these guys are unfortunately taken to the waters again so let's just make sure that we're at sea ourselves so we can chase them to wherever they go i don't necessarily have to free this uh holding but if i crush that army the war is won that's all we need over here <laughs> why 1k indeed the bloodlust for the pope is corrupting you a little bit man a little bit for real for real natalie for sure Fatherly advice. You're here to give me advice? Tell me how to deal with this nonsense uncle of mine. Talk to your brother, goddammit. My father is a wise man, deeply understanding of people's needs and desires. He often offers me guidance when dealing with others. I need all the advice I can get, or my court is mine to rule, father. No. I'm a sweet little child. A little arbitrary, but I'm a sweet little child otherwise. Come on now. I need all the advice I can get, to be honest. He expects to have a say in my decisions. Oh. If I'm going to give him that kind of a role, then I will certainly demand his conversion. He is a genius. Uh, you gotta respect that. He is a genius. Need all the advice I can get, to be honest. Now hang on. Let's go ahead and demand his conversion. And before I forget, before I forget, I need to make sure my guardian is a witch okay good okay good i was worried i was worried that uh, that they weren't that we hadn't already set this up but yes halthor is still our uh, our guardian and hopefully he converts us to to witchcraft and we we don't have to abandon that uh, plot line right that thread that we latched onto conrado c how's it going buddy uh, just so you know, because your religion is female dominated, I don't think he can fight in the duel. He will appoint a fighter, which may be better than him. Be careful. Yes, he will probably pick out a champion. You're right. That's a good point. That's a good point. Loki, the gift giver. Two copper eyes follow me as I cross the hallway, and a small meow breaks the silence as Loki pounces from my ankle. She may be young, but she is nonetheless ferocious. As she prances away, I see that she's left me a gleaming gift where she'd been hiding. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Thank you, fair lady. I have a friend who has an outdoor cat who leaves him gifts all the time. It's never money, and it always involves digging a hole in the garden. <laughs> God. Cats, man. Proper, proper predators. Queen Sif increased her prowess. Excellent. I love seeing knights improve. It's, oh God. It's, it's among my favorite things is, is, is uh, improving our warriors and then sending them off to, to, to do battle. Ooh. Queen Sif, the bully of Sweden. How did you get that? 
Duchess Grasses of Greater Poland, King Tyke of Bohemia, and Queen Githa of Scotland all want independence from their liege. In six months, they'll be able to send an ultimatum. I could try appeasing them. I could try you know, sending them gifts and all that kind of stuff. See if that uh, keeps them in check. Maybe I should remind them why I'm in charge over here. To the prisons. What do we have over here? Kill a child to really show we mean business? <laughs> God damn, it's horrifying. You're 13 years old. That's a good number. You're five. Alright, can we ransom you for anything? No. Look, if I'm willing to do this to children, what do you think I'll do to you if you try to stand up in rebellion? Of what family? Nothing that matters to us, I don't think. Nothing that matters to us. Sacrifice him. There we go. I mean business over here. Oh, these guys are really suffering hard, eh? Let's go. These guys are starving over here. I didn't realize they were gonna take that take it that poorly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, that should be okay. That should be okay. You can just send them a gift. Say your uncle's severed head. Yeah, there's a message. The power is a little concerning, but if we need, we can always get uh, mercenaries, right? In worst case scenario, we can always get mercenaries. These guys are starving. Okay. Not ideal, but uh, this should be quick. This should be quick. Bring these guys in as well. A lot of our men at arms over there. Send these guys in. We should be fine over here. Okay, let's actually wait until uh, these guys are starting to disembark, and then we'll go in with our, with our land forces. Send you in a bit. Oh, here we go. That was faster than I expected. Let's go. This will be an interesting battle. Hopefully I haven't uh, gotten too eager over here and, and, and thrown myself to the wolves. Oh, I may have. <laughs> That's not ideal. Come on, reinforcements. Get in here. There we go. Turn around. Let's go. Excellent. Okay, beautiful. Now I have a bit more faith <laughs> with how this is going to go. Took a bit of a risk there. Those rowdy peasants, I feel like we've already taken... Oh, we still haven't finished them off, eh? Okay, good point. My prisoner, Lord Sindelin, has escaped my dungeons. The guards have nothing to say in their defense, but the damage is already done nonetheless. Well, that's unfortunate. Curse you, Sindelin. And this is why you have to execute them as soon as you catch them, I guess. Our champion was slain by an enemy soldier. Oh, get eat there. That's unfortunate. But this, this battle's ours. Not a chance they turn this around now. There it is. Victory is ours. Some of the mercenary contracts are going to expire. What's the deal over here? Oh, these guys just slipped away there. All right, let's go ahead and deal with that. Let's end this war over here. Enforce our demands. Get, uh, what? Nothing, really. I guess we get this reprieve. Somehow this character has won a measure of respite from the relentless Viking hordes. I will not be attacked by landless Scandinavian adventurers for five years. Not forever, for five years. Enforce our demands. Bring an end to this. Greetings, High Queen Eir of the North Sea. Blessings upon you and your house. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. You're damn right, buddy. You're damn right. Let's go ahead and merge these guys just so I can disband them more easily. Just so I can disband them more easily. Yes, please. Cool. Now they're not suffering and starving. And over here, there should be an easy victory. 4,000 against 900. We should be fine. Execute the guards. I wish. I wish they were, like, named. I wish you could, like, get that option because we're arbitrary. I wish it would be, like, oh, you know... Punish the guards to make sure it never happens again. Something like that, you know? Something like that. My brother? True, I should check on my brother. He is just about old enough to get an education. Also a charming child. Don't want him to be too good at intrigue. Maybe a bit of a diplomat. I want to make sure he doesn't try uh, assassinating me or anything like that, right? He already murdered our mother. He might try to murder me next. So diplomacy education for you. And, uh, too bad I can't educate him myself. Because, um... That would be kind of funny. That would be kind of funny if I could educate him myself, as a child. I wonder... hmm... What about my dad? What about my dad? He's a genius as well, and he's got better diplomacy. 
So yeah, sure. Why don't we go ahead and educate child? My brother. Go for an heir if things go horribly wrong. Do not convert his culture, please and thank you. Send that proposal. Now, unfortunately, my dad is not a witch. So what we'll probably do is when we come of age... What's our, what's our age difference here? He's 5 and I'm 10. So when we're 16, he'll be, what, 11? So when we come of age, we'll have to uh, educate him. So let's just remember to do that. When we come of age, as long as we become a witch, we should try and educate him ourselves. Let's go ahead and send that proposal. I think that'll work out for us. Daddy's rocking that peasant look. I know, right? I was like, what are you doing here, man? Look the part. Enforce our demands. End this rebellion. Locals pacified. Excellent. Disband that army as well. And now pizza and champagne? I think so, yeah, because this war is still ongoing. Are you making any progress here? I think so. It went from negative 18 to negative 13, I think, right? 1,400 strong versus... Why did you declare this war? What were you thinking? It's okay. If we lose it, it's fine. We're not going to lose any territory, but that's that's coming soon. This is this conquest is coming soon, I think. Uh, down over here, maybe a slice of pizza first. Count Hugo has tiny claims. King Carol II has pointless claims. I guess we go for a duchy over here. Luxembourg, Upper Lorraine... Pizza down over here, <laughs> the, the actual duchy of. I don't think so. Uh, pin him? I, I, that, I don't know if pinning him will actually serve as a reminder for me, but uh, but we could try it. <laughs> we could try it. I often forget about the outliner. Go ahead and pin you, buddy. There we go. Hopefully we'll remember to do what we need to do with him. Like, yeah, Lady Sig, why do we have you up over here? <laughs> mm. Why do we have this guy up over here? Decent marshal, I guess. Find him a, a marshal capable uh, wife. Might make for a good uh, power couple, landed power couple, I suppose. Matrilineal, of course. Guest of chief? No, 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 no. Come our way then. There we go. I'm glad I checked that. Sure, yeah, send that proposal. Why not? She's a berserker. Actually, she's she's a very good catch. She's a berserker. She's also... A, they're both former peasant leaders. That's hilarious that, that, how that worked out. And the prowess on both of them is excellent. The marshal on both of them is excellent. We're going to have some uh, landed peasants over here. But yes, make sure they're coming to our court. Send that proposal. That actually worked out kind of funny. Um, and we'll see if the pin actually ends up doing anything for us. I just got to remember in time is the thing. Declare this war. Conquer duchy. Let's go ahead and get... I'm thinking Upper Lorraine. Upper Lorraine seems to be a nice piece, and then we'll 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 take uh, Champagne, and then we'll have um, this little like pock mark, I guess. Bronx Bull, thank you very much for subscribing, buddy. Hope you're enjoying the show. If you are, again, you know what to do. And folks, we got over 50 people watching, but less than 40 likes, just about 35 likes. If you're having a good time, if you like Crusader Kings three, if you want more live streams on the channel. The best way to make sure that happens is by uh, leaving a uh, leaving a like, and uh, if you're watching the VOD, leaving a comment. Uh, it does make a big difference, though, so, so if you are having a good time, <laughs> caress that like button, yes, as if you took it to the latrine. Uh, let's go for it. Now, he does have five allies. They are fairly numerous. We are okay, though. A lot of our men-at-arms are a little out of it, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. 15,000, 16,000 strong, plus if we draw drag our allies into this as well. I think we'll be okay. So the Duchy of Upper Lorraine. Let's go ahead and push from, I think, over here. Saarbrücken. And make some moves. And if we need it again, we need... Uh, if, if we need to do it, we can um, bring in some mercenaries as well. Right? They're, they're leaving in five months, so let's take advantage of that. Duchy of Upper Lorraine. Let's declare that war. Prepare yourselves for the uh, beautiful music.
There we go. I gotta figure it out eventually. Sorry, the music was uh, distracting me, but also um, the Christmas colors was uh, was fun to see. <laughs> Christmas colors in our in our in our banners over here. To the impressive ear, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Excellent, you've joined just in time for this uh, war to come. My champion, beauty. Quite a capable one. Once. Quite a capable one as well. And oh my god, all these kings have joined right in. Okay, let's call our uh, ally over here. Got a ransom I can do. Nah, you can't afford the full price just quite yet. Let's get our uh, High Chieftain Domawu the second of Lower Silesia. Join me in this war. Another 8,000 strong. That'll make a difference for sure. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, there was not yet a poll, correct? So it will be a Phantom Brigade again tomorrow. Hopefully we do have a stream tomorrow. Hopefully uh, the election results don't take too long. Um, and hopefully we do have a stream tomorrow. We should have a stream tomorrow, but I would like to do Phantom Brigade tomorrow. Oh, we're in such a precarious situation right now in that series that I, I, I want to uh, I want to see where it goes. <laughs> of course, I shall join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of Lower Silesia. I think I'm saying that right. Taking Frizzy and Holland would secure the channel. I feel like the channel's pretty secure. Over 180,000 subscribers. I think we've done well. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself sometimes. You'll have to forgive me. But that's a good point. That's maybe not a bad idea either, actually. There's some smaller conquests. I think we'll do uh, we'll do a, a slice of pizza and champagne, and then we'll go uh, and then we'll go to the Frieza to get some ice cream, huh? Oh my God! Oh my Lord! <laughs> why why am I like this? Uh, let's go ahead and move in with the 18,000. We have a lot of soldiers. It's going to be like impossible to keep these guys alive is the thing. Because of the supply situation. Let's go ahead and move you guys through. Let's go ahead and raise the rest over here and we'll move them through as well. And we'll have a bit of a carpet siege situation going on. <laughs> the reaction in chat, I love it. Oh my god. Not even ready for October. I know, I can't believe all the, all the, all the Halloween decoration goes up. 1st of September, all the Halloween decoration goes up. And it's like, yo, relax. Please. <laughs> There's still time. Oh, this is dangerous. This independence faction is dangerous in the middle of this war. Come on now. Some of us get along just fine. Why would you do this? This could actually be quite bad. These are some big numbers. 7,000. Oh, and they would pull away from our current... Uh, current uh, army as well, wouldn't they? How can I convince you... To drop this nonsense. How could I convince you to drop this nonsense? I don't want to grant them titles or anything. I, that would just empower them. I could give them small gifts to make them love me, but it might be a little too late for that. What are they going to do with 48 gold, though, right? Like, how much of a difference is that going to make? I've not granted them a council position. Oh, I could make you my steward. That might appease you, actually. And I believe my steward's not the best. Duchess Grasses. So I'll upset one more to appease the other. They're both in the same faction here. Duchess Grasses. Despite loving me, she's still in this in this faction. So you know, it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference. Uh, why should I give them things? To uh, <laughs> well, why should I give them things? Basically, if they want to stand against me, let them stand against me. They're a little bit weaker than I am, so hopefully the timing doesn't screw me. That's that's the thing that's going to screw me. What kind of ice cream are we talking? Oh no, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for this. What are what are common flavors in in in, in this neck of the woods? I don't know. What are you guys thinking? Um, I'm thinking uh, the blood of the locals would make a good ice cream. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that statement. The bully of Sweden is a very excellent. Uh, what is it? Epi oh no. Dude, did I did I call it or did I call it? Did I call it or did I goddamn call it? I, in hindsight, David B, I probably should have waited a couple months for the uh, men at arms to yes replenish. This is troubling. It's just a matter of timing. Separately, we can crush him, but we have an an entire alliance down over here and an entire alliance like up over here. This is not good. It is time for you to recognize the full independence of Sweden and the other states in the independence faction. Accept our demands or face our swords on the battlefield. I will not be threatened. I do have a bully problem, don't I?
They are inferior to us, so that is good. But the Kingdom of Sweden is massive. The Kingdom of Sweden is huge. The Kingdom of Greater Poland, I mean, by comparison, it's nothing, but it's no small thing either, though. Scotland, also massive. And Bohemia, oh my god. Greetings, my charming liege. May your years be short and miserable. We have lived under your rule for too long. We can tolerate it no more. By blood and steel, we will be free. Rather the troops, call in my ally. Need your assistance in this independence war, good friend. Call to war. And uh, let's make sure to punish them. And punish them harshly. What do we have over here? We gotta move quickly over here in this conquest of uh, Upper Lorraine. We gotta move really quickly over here. So we can turn around and crush this uh, independence war. 14,000 strong is no joke. Here we go indeed. Here we go indeed. Chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. You know what? I can get behind that. Oh, I can get behind some ice cream right now. Oh, Car J, you gotta go. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you had a good time. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful Monday. It's actually super hot today, so I could actually go for some ice cream. I could also go for some quick victories over here. Empty council position, of course, because Grassus has left us. With our pants around our ankles. Our, our, our new options are not that great. Our new options are not that great. I'm kind of tempted hmm, to try and uh, get a marriage over here that brings us a uh, that brings us a better uh, better potential steward. I mean, the, the, our options are pathetic. Arnie, let's find you a spouse. Doesn't matter you're possessed. Let's find you a spouse over here. Nineteen. Come on now, not matrilineal. Still 19 is the best we have. Marginally better than our 13 or whatever it is. Of, of Norse we have, of, of South True Norse we have a 17. A little bit on the younger side. She's quick as well. Might be worth doing. Marry my brother for an alliance. I don't think we... I don't think we're in that desperate a need right now. And any allies out there aren't even that, uh, that sizable. We checked last time, right? They're not really that, uh, that major. Uh, unless uh, the only allies out there are the ones we might want to go to war with very soon. We could hire mercenaries, exactly, to, to hit Scotland or Poland. That might be the way to go. Good point, David Backman, yeah. You can punish them by making them spend quality time with your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd get along, unfortunately. I think they'd get along. Karl Meyer, the plus side is they will be separate from each other by distance. Yes, that is true, and i got to take advantage of that separation. i got to take advantage of that long-distance relationship that these guys have right now. You know what? I'm what I'm tempted to do over here is actually wait on assigning a steward to see who ends up the powerful vassal after all is said and done, and then assign them as my steward. I mean, yes, we're going to miss out on some money. It's not the end of the world, though. We got plenty, so I think I'll, I'll take that chance over here. I think I'll take that chance over here. So we've got this going on over here. These guys are unfortunately coming through. Why don't I? Fourteen thousand, sixteen thousand. Oh, hmm. Not many left to gather over here then. Let's go ahead and station besiegers. Move you guys over to here. Because again, if I can quickly take this... Uh, unfortunately, there are capitals all the way down over here, so that's a bit of a journey. If I can quickly do that, and then if I can get some mercenaries, as you say, up over here. Because they are going to try and join forces. If I can get some mercenaries up over here to uh, take their capital or something like that, we'd be good. And I do believe... Tivetdale? Is that am I saying that right? Is a good spot maybe to bring them. Go ahead and establish this up over here. What kind of mercenaries do we have available? 26 days, one day left on these guys. I might want to re, uh, rehire them. Extend and extend. We've got the money. And these guys are already hired. Okay, so that's not an option. And the faithful of Tyr are already hired as well. Okay, so no mercenary options, unfortunately. What I might want to do is split these guys in half. And take 6,900, no, take 7, sure, let's take 6,900 up towards Greater Poland, maybe? Oh man, these guys are making some moves, aren't they? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Queen Saga is in charge there. Who's in charge here? Nobody. Mayor, let's get you in charge. Alright, let's see if that does the trick. I think, um... Yeah, I think what we could maybe do is... I'm, I'm worried about weakening ourselves too much down over here. If we had more mercenaries, then I'd go separately towards Scotland. Traveling from here up to Scotland, I'm just worried it would take too long. 
but it is the most isolated. It is the most isolated. I could send these guys when they're done gathering. You know what, actually. Stop gathering. Let's send you in with these guys. And up over here, why don't we raise what's left of our army. Because even if we're a thousand strong, I think we'd be able to overcome the defenses of, yes, their capital. So let's see if that works for us. Taking a bit of a risk, but let's see if that works for us. Gotta be like in like three, three-ish, two, three speed over here, because I gotta make sure we don't get uh, blindsided. Of course, I shall join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to, the, learn to fear the men of Lower Silesia. Beautiful. Could uh, definitely use some of them right about now. They're right here, so that, that should work out in that way. What are we looking at here? How many days? 50 days. Oh my god. The thing is, Sahara 2020, I don't want to like, uh, fire anybody and deal with that firing. That's the thing. That's why I'm hesitant to assign somebody as a steward right now and then, and then only to fire them shortly thereafter. Wow, they've worked really quickly here, haven't they? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're okay. Still pushing through. We got some men at arms in here as well. We've got some sieges going on over here. Let's go ahead and station besiegers and send the rest down to this barony over here. Why don't you do the trick? And up over here we are. Yeah, we'll be around 1,200 or, or 13 or 1,500 strong or something. That'll be good. Not the best commander, but that's okay. Who are these guys? Why are, why are we, you know, fighting? Why must you do this? It's 216, sure. Let's merge them. That's fine. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Almost done up there. This is a hot mess. Because it's like all over the place. It's not a concentrated effort, you know, at one location. It's a bit of a hot mess. They are... It looks like they're gathering up over there. I don't think I can get there in time with my 7,000 to overpower them before they get enough reinforcements. I'm a little concerned about that. A little concerned about that. No, Natalie. There's nothing to apologize. Uh, that's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> could go up there, or I could... Oh, you know what? We could come down over here, I guess. I don't want to travel through that land if I don't have to. Because, again, we lose, what, like 400 soldiers every step of the way over here. My god. We could instead try to at least conquer something over here, maybe. Take a bit of hurt. Try and conquer this. Maybe draw some of them towards me. We'll. Oh man, we'll see. We'll have to. We'll, I'll have to make my decision as I get closer. We're almost done over here. Three days. Oh, I guess we're eleven hundred strong, twelve hundred strong. Okay, fair enough. Done. Get their capital. Again, I'll have to keep an eye out for it though, because they might turn around and, and try to defend it. But that's just stopping them from sending reinforcements down to this. You know, the bulk of this war basically. Over here, we're at war with these guys as well. That's Burgundy. Again, all these allies over here. This could go poorly. Because I'm so distracted, this could could go poorly. I almost feel like I should focus on one more at a time. Is the Queen of Germany happy with me? Do you mean the uh, King, the Queen of Denmark? I would say she's pleased. I would say she's pleased. Oh, no. They have the gall to come up here. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Oh man, I need to crush that rebellion, don't I? How long will this take? 13 months, 12 months, 3 months, 7 months, okay. Still moving in over here. I think we should just go for it. There's this man trying to become my, my, my chancellor over here. Not a chance, buddy. Not a chance. Um... I guess I imprisoned the last guy? What did I do to the last guy? I thought I murdered him. But I can't because I'm a child. It must have been my pre- was it, it wasn't my father that did it, or my grandfather that did it. Either way, my chancellor- oh my god. I mean, I guess he's not the worst. He hates me though. The, the hell, man. Just leave. Just leave. I'd like to not give you guaranteed council rights. I can fire him afterwards as well. He's a nobody. He's not a big deal. 
It's an act of tyranny. Everybody will be unhappy with me. I could lower his taxes a bit. He's not paying anything anyway. I could lower his taxes a bit. Sure. And then it won't be seen as an act of tyranny. They're not Gauls. <laughs> I certainly have them, though. They will try and capture me, David Packman. That's exactly what I'm worried about. That They're trying to maybe uh, capture me. This is unfortunate, isn't it? I'm not going to extend them any protections, of course. I can't believe I'm exempting them from, from paying taxes. Who? When did I... Why would I have given them council rights? It couldn't have been me. It must have been an old contract. Well, it's about to change. Yeah. It's okay. They're not... Again, they're paying us nothing, so... it's It makes no difference to us. Done. Done. And he's probably upset at me because I fired him. Yep. Come on, get back in here. Oh, I guess I can't. I can't fire this guy despite uh, despite c c because he used his contract already. I, I can't fire him. So fine, I'll have to come of age, and then I'll have to uh, murder him, and then and then we can replace him again. Oh, things are not going so hot right now. Things are not going so hot right now. Alright, what are we looking at over here? We're okay. These guys are going to make some progress still. Yeah, okay. You got to go, David B. Sounds good, buddy. Well, thanks for coming through. Hope you had a good time. I hope uh, work treats you nicely. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your Monday, bud. Thanks for coming through. And if you're watching the VOD, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, why don't I have more mercenaries? Okay. That's about 7,000, 8,000, oh. This is bad. This is bad, this is bad. I should probably be pulling back over here. I feel like I should crush this independence war before I deal with this expansion. Because if I lose the war of expansion, what's the worst that happens? It's a little embarrassing, we lose some money. If I lose the War of Independence, then uh, we lose a lot of territory. Are these guys coming up here, or are they regrouping elsewhere first? I don't have 11 months to spare over here. Okay, they're waiting down over here. Coming up this way. Just want to make sure I move in the right direction, right? I I don't typically play this game at, like, two, two speed, but uh, with, like, <laughs> these massive wars in multiple different directions. Three years... To take this. That's not going to happen very quickly at all. These guys are going to see victory over here, unfortunately. Well, if that's the case, then we may as well stand over here and, and, and take this territory. And see if we can't bait them down over here. These guys are working up over there. Okay, fair enough. Oh, boy. Exactly, Natalie. We'll just have ice, no land if uh, <laughs> if we lose the War of Independence. These guys are almost certainly coming up that way. Yeah, they are. Okay. Push up. Don't know. Got some men-at-arms there. Got some men-at-arms there. All of our men-at-arms here. How long will this siege last? Under 16 days? So we can send those guys in. But I don't know how well they'll necessarily do. Commander 25. 18, 25, 14. So we, we don't have a massive advantage as far as our commander is concerned. Where are you? Leading against me. That's where you are. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's come to this. You know what? I do need an ally. Alliance power, not matrilineal. County of Morar. Yes, yeah, this is what I mean. They're, these aren't very powerful alliances. What's another 1,100 soldiers really going to do? You know? What's it really going to do for us? Alliance power? Oh. Novgorod, 3,800. 4,000. Now, that's not a small number. East Anglia, you're just a vassal of mine. Yeah, maybe we get uh, Queen Mikova in here. A white piece in the expansion war? Maybe. We, we have to move quickly for that. We have to move quickly for that. They have not put uh, Reykjavik under siege, so at least we're safe there. Good point, though. 
I'm glad we're safe up there. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this before she gets uh, you know, some other ideas in her head. Get the kingdom of Novgorod on our side. Again, it's just a betrothal. We can always break this down the line if necessary. Um, and we need we need the the, the four thousand or so soldiers that she can bring us. Send that proposal. I thought we'd be fine, but you know what? This is not looking very uh, pleasant at all. With our ally all the way over there as well, they're not able to help us as quickly as I would like. How long left here? Ten days. There's our alliance. Excellent. Call to war. Which one? The independence war. Let's go for it. The independence war first. It's also closer to her, so she should be able to respond a bit more uh, uh, immediately, right? She should be able to push in and, and maybe help somewhere over here sooner rather than later. God. Liz Purr, I will have to watch this in a VOD later. My internet is having problems. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, thanks for coming through and thanks for letting me know. Have yourself a wonderful Monday, though, and uh, hopefully your internet is uh, doing okay sooner rather than later. Enjoy the VOD when you're watching it. Enjoy the VOD when you're watching it. I could try and uh, assault the fortress over here. I, I was wondering about that. I, I don't know how... 54 casualties every day. It's not that significant. I suppose I could assault and end this quicker. Nine days, though, to get up over here. I, 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 think, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Famous last words, I know. I know. Man. Goddamn rebel scum over here. High Queen. Sorry, not the High Queen. The Queen Mikova will join us. Excellent. Reinforcements are arriving over here. This siege is done. There it is. Oh, we can actually turn this around. Now, they do have another 1,600 coming from back there. I wonder if I send this 584 in as well. Four months left on this siege. It's like, do I really want to lose all that progress? That's the question. But losing this entire army is, uh, is not ideal either. These guys are coming up this way. We'll see if there's a fight happening over here soon. Seven months for this siege to be completed. Okay. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. First set of reinforcements have arrived. Um, are you guys together? I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Fighting begins. Their reinforcements will take some time to arrive as well. There they are. Come on now. Come on now. We're 2200. We need them. That is our better commander as well. Excellent. Win this for us. Bring us glory. Come on. Oh, this is looking real good. Okay, I think we've got this. Oh my god, thank god. I was so worried about that. <laughs> we've got this, though. That's a definite victory. That is a definite victory. The enemy ally joins Queen... Sorry, Queen Theory of Sweden. Oh, the bully has died. The bully has died. What happened? Inherited by abdication. Abdication. And then she died from being ill. Not before she declared this war on us, though. Poppy Fire 100%. Yes, I saw the announcement trailer. I was all over that. Really excited to, to, to play Frostpunk 2 on the channel. I cannot wait. Uh, I've, been, I've been waiting, I guess. <laughs> I've been waiting. All right. So this victory is almost guaranteed over here. As tempted as I am to chase these guys, I worry that by the time I catch them, they'll have regrouped up over there. Now, what's the deal up over here? We are somehow still making progress. Three years. All right. <laughs> Let's get victory over here at least. Champion Wounded Hadmar. Okay, fair enough. Rip the head off of Count Thebo. Excellent. More of their reinforcements coming, but too little too late, I think. Champion was maimed by Adelbert de Beauvau. We'll have our revenge. There's our victory there. Come on, keep coming at me. I'd love to see you try. Bring those reinforcements in. I would love to crush that army as well. Are you kidding me? Yes. 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 Your forces took your foe, Duke Arnaud, hostage after capturing him during the Battle of Nancy. Nancy. Nancy? I don't know. I don't care. It's mine now. I'll call it whatever the hell I please. I am so happy. I am so happy. That could not have worked out better. That could not have worked out better. Oh. I, I need a quick sip of water over here. I'm... 
That was as stressful as goddamn hell. Yeah, I'm gonna end the war right away. There's no need to wait here. We're gonna end that war right away, and then we will bring our wrath down upon these uh, indignant vassals of ours. Yeah, no white peace anymore. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Nonce? Yeah, that's what this uh, independence war is. Is it? Is it? it nonce? Nonce? I think so, right? I used to. I used to know. I used to know a lot better, but. Pablo, Pablo, what did you miss? We conquered a bit of territory up north, and uh, we had uh, th a war on three fronts. And then we tried to conquer a little bit of territory, a slice of Pisa, as it was so beautifully put in chat. We tried to conquer a slice of Pisa, and then one of our, uh, well, four of our massive uh, vassals decided to declare a war of independence right as we kicked this war off. And so now, having won this, uh, this war against Pisa, we're going to turn our attention to said vassals and... Uh, Show them the meaning of pain. I'm uh, going to be removing the ice in nice. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Do English Canadians learn French? Depends on the province you're in. In Ontario, you learn French in school until 10th grade. It's mandatory. And then and then that's it. Uh, in, I think, New Brunswick is the only bilingual uh, province we actually have. And in New Brunswick, I think, you, uh, I think you learn both for longer. But I could be wrong. I'm not familiar with New Brunswick's uh, curriculum and stuff. Uh, but at least in Ontario, you learn French until the 10th grade. That's not where I learned my French, though. I learned my French. I lived in Morocco for three years, and that's where I learned my French. Uh, more on the, on the quote-unquote, streets of Morocco than in, in, in classrooms, though. <laughs> you learn a lot of... A good way to learn languages is by watching movies in, in, in that language or, or engaging in... like I was like watching a lot of football uh, with French commentary, and that's how I learned a lot of you know, French words. I played a lot of games, video games in French, watched a lot of movies in French, and, of course, I... I Cite it in school as well. Um, okay, enforce our demands. I'm, I'm still in shock that this worked out. But yes, enforce our demands, gain this title, end this war, celebrate our victory. To the evil Filkir Ir, may your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Beautiful. We're a little bit over our limit. We'll sort that out afterwards. Another dangerous faction? Oh no. Goddamn Anglo-Saxon Catholic populists, are you kidding me? My chancellor is in this? You think you're going to retain your position after standing up against me in rebellion? Who do you think you are? I swear to God I'm going to murder him so bad. <laughs> He's a trash. Alright, let's go ahead and merge these armies. Let's move up over here and try and get some work done. Let's try and crush this, uh, this, 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 this independence war, right? I'm tempted to send this 579 up over here to just help with the siege. Or I wonder if I should pull that 928 down over here to help with the wars down over here instead. Just because we are, uh, we can now concentrate our efforts, right? We now concentrate our efforts. It's not theirs because it's yours. I goddamn love it. They're French for like seven years in school. I don't speak a word of it, though. I mean, if you don't practice uh, language, you're very quickly going to you know, lose a grip on it. Uh, I So I thought my French had gotten absolutely terrible because I, I had nobody to practice with. But then when we did our little... Uh, God damn it. Why did I have to say anything? Why did I have to check the faction screen and, and, and say anything? We should be able to crush them fine. It'll just take us some time to get to it. And that's the unfortunate thing. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. May wisdom ever elude you. If it is war you want, then you shall have it. We will not let anybody stop us from forming a new realm for ourselves. God damn it, rally the troops. What are all these sieges? Oh no, <laughs> I should have pulled these guys away. I should have pulled these guys away. This is far from ideal. This realm is being torn apart right now. This realm is being torn apart right now. Yikes. It's almost like this island is supposed to be made up of multiple uh, separate uh, realms. What is all this red? Holy crap, we can't even like march upwards. Okay, where is the ruler here? Where is their commander? Who leads you? Which fool do you follow? Is he close? Are we... I wish I could like double click and find him, you know? Uh, who's in charge over here? Who's in charge? Come on. 
No commander, no commander, no commander. If I can just find... If I can just find the peasant leader and, and hit that army first. And we have to get lucky to actually capture that leader. We can bring an end to this really quickly. But it doesn't look like we're going to get so lucky. My god, man. My god. Well, at least our allies are stepping in with this uh, independence war, so there's that. <laughs> Two years of Spanish, forgot immediately. Yeah, again, if you're not practicing, you're going to lose it. Uh, but like I was saying, so I thought I lost my French, and then we went to uh, Paris many years ago now, like four years ago now, I think. We went to Paris, and I was like, oh, we'll see how it works out. One of the first things that happened after we checked in was my glasses. My, my glasses broke. My, like, lens popped out. I was, like, cleaning my glasses, and my lens popped out of the frame. And I was like, well, this sucks. Uh, and we were, we were actually walking around the area is, is what was happening. And we just so happened, well, I didn't spot it, Miss Elite spotted it, because I was blind, basically. Miss Elite spotted a glasses repair shop right around the corner, and we're like, well, what are the chances? So we go in there, and one of the first conversations I have to have in French isn't, hello, how are you doing, you know, anything like that. It's, hi, my glasses broke, could you please help me repair them? That's the conversation I had to have, and I was able to have it relatively flawlessly. I, I stumbled over a couple words uh, but relatively flawlessly, and at that point, I was very confident for the rest of the trip that my French is, is not so bad. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's a little confidence booster. Doesn't this character portrait have a find person button? I, I, I don't. Normally, you can like double click on them, and it takes you right to them. Oh, that's my that's player character button. So uh, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see what's up. We'll see what <laughs> we'll see what's up. 914 down over here. Where's our army up over here? How much? Four months left over here. Okay. God damn. Let's let's go ahead and turn this war around because it's at negative 18%. Let's try and turn that war around first, and then we'll we'll deal with the peasant rebellion uh, as uh, as it maybe gains some momentum. CJ, how's it going, buddy? Uh, I gotta go read in 20 minutes. You gotta go, uh, soon, Keith? Is that what I'm understanding? Uh, you didn't, you're not a fan of, uh, French artillery barrage? Only reason I can speak English fluently is because I enjoy speaking the language. What don't you like about French? I'm curious. Is it all the conjugation? Because, listen, <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Caught. My cousin Hal Thor caught me stealing from Chieftain Flossie's travel chest while he was visiting the castle. Threatening punishment, Hal Thor demanded an explanation. Uh, I was challenged to a game by one of the other children, making me deceitful, again leaning into who I already am. I thought I could get away with it, but I will never do it again. Not a chance, I will do it many more times. Uh, I'm only sorry because I got caught. I have no more right to anything than others do, making me humble. I am the farthest thing from hum humble. We became the living legend by the age of 10. I would hardly say that uh, those are circumstances under which a kid becomes humble. So yes, I was... Uh, Challenge to a game by other by one of the other children. That, that's what happened That's what happened Making me deceitful I'm going to be uh, quite the high queen. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely suffering from uh, the, the drawbacks of fast expansion. That's what I like about these games is uh, oh, no Duchess Hala of Upland was slain At 74 I think the last thing she did was rise against us no, no, she did not. How was she slain in the Battle of Gowrie? <gasps> no. I'm going to need some Vs in chat, folks. She was Valhalla bound, a drunkard, but what a warrior she was. What a commander she was. At 71, she was winning so many excellent battles for us. And then this happens. That is really unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. What are the chances that a simple siege, a simple siege to crush this independence war turned into this massive battle? And even then, she stood and fought. She refused to move. Valhalla Bound is right. We'll win both these wars to honor her. God. And meanwhile, our cat's getting uh, busy, I guess. Dying reduced her powers to seven. I mean, yeah. <laughs> still, still a capable warrior. Still a capable fighter. There it is. There are the Vs. I love to see it. Love to see it. 
As I walk outside, I am greeted by the sight of my vassal, Lady Huld, crouching beside my cat, Loki, tenderly petting her head. This is quite the lovely cat you have, my lady. Yeah, it's the same one that peed all over your stuff. You realize that, right? But you are very perceptive. It is a lovely cat. All right, what are we up to here? Let's go ahead and maybe crush some of these guys en route, right? Because we're here already, so why not take advantage of the opportunity? Um, why don't we go ahead and split you guys in half? Send half down there and half up here. Just cause a little bit of damage because we're headed up over here anyway. Let's see what we can do. We're fine over here. How long in the siege? 50-ish days left. Okay, it's not too bad. These should both be decent victories. Go ahead and merge you guys together. There we go. This should be good. Kinda is under siege. Well, is it under siege or is it kinda under siege? What are you saying to me here? What is? Who even are you? Like, why are you defending against the tyranny of Jarl Solvi? There's so many in internal wars going on right now that we're not even privy to. Lady Hul doesn't know what she likes. I know, she's like a client. In Germany, don't let them go into battle? Uh, where, where, in, where in Germany? A lot of Germany belongs to us. <laughs> Present day Germany. I mean, these battles, we should win both of them. Over here, we're, we're in the clear. We should be okay. Unless we mean pulling these guys back to, to, to Germany, which is probably not a bad idea. Once they retreat, we'll, we'll pull them down to here to assist with uh, everything else. Yes. But th this should be fine. I mean, I want to just crush these smaller armies because they're, they're on, on the way, you know? And it should help us in this uh, war. Even if it's marginal, it helps. Every little bit helps. 9,300. Okay, let's move. <laughs> Don't trust Lady Hold, you bet. All right. Oh, okay, you're talking about somebody else. Gotcha. Oh, I see what you mean, Sahara. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, siege here is done. Now, these guys are low on supplies. We'll try and take advantage of that. These guys are coming up to here. These guys are coming up to here. We could try and push in and, and, and crush that 9,300 strong. That would not be a bad idea. It looks like they're coming down towards us, potentially. Wouldn't mind the defensive advantages over here. Oh, boy, this will be close. Tempted to pull back a little bit. Let's keep our eyes on their movements here. Okay, let's pull back. It'll take too long for reinforcements to arrive. Pull these guys down over here. And you guys are coming this way, right? Yeah. Oh, we'll meet them on the battlefield, though. That's for sure. Ah, cowards! They won't chase me to the woods. My, uh... My tactical retreat did not fool them. Alright, let's go. Chase them down. 10k strong, we can take them on. We can take them on. Artillery barrage, uh... <laughs> That's, uh, marginally impolite. <laughs> French is a, I don't know, uh, French is a beautiful language. I, uh, I quite like it. There, I'm, I'm hard-pressed to find languages that I, I don't, uh, I don't like. I'm also one of those people that really wants to learn all sorts of languages, oh my god. The list of languages I want to learn is, uh, is miles long. Come on, come at me. Get crushed. Ooh, oh no. Hold on. Wait for some of my reinforcements first. Hang on. <laughs> we got this. We got this. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, come on. There we go. Our champion, Queen Elswith, killed Gurkis Wilkes. Fair enough. Good stuff. We've, we've, we've got the victory over here. Guaranteed. That was terrifying, though. That swinging back and forth gave me whiplash. Beautiful. Another glorious victory for us. All of our champions are doing so very well. And there's our win. There's our win. That'll hopefully turn this war around a little bit. Oh my god. From negative 25% to negative 5%. That is huge. That was a massive battle. That was a massive battle. BM, how's it going, buddy? Having a good day, I hope. Glad you can make it. Uh, uh, I, I guess someone, uh, Natalie was somebody asking for uh, the schedule, but yeah, that's right. CK, not two, three on Mondays. Though I do love Crusader Kings 2 as well. Uh, Fan Brigade on Tuesday and Scissorain on a Friday. Yes, all at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. There, uh, I do want to start, uh, it, man, I can't wait until I'm settled down <laughs> properly at this new place. I have so many plans for other things that I want to like stream and, and other things I want to get up to on the channel, uh, including like more community gaming and, and like just multiplayer stuff and all kinds of things with the Discord. Uh, but I, I always think like, oh yeah, you know, this weekend we'll get so much done and then I'll, you know, I'll be able to like, I'll, I'll have more free time. 
I, we're still unpacking. We're still like building furniture and unpacking and, and some furniture just got delivered today. So, you know, that was nice. <laughs> but we're nowhere near done moving in. We're nowhere near done moving in. All right, we're going to try and push up over here. Looks like there's a potential for a battle here. No, I guess not. He's going to move up over here and try and crush this 2,000, but I think they've seen us coming. Get rid of these. There we go. Get rid of you as well. You just don't need all these distractions up top. Come on now. Let's turn this around. Looks like there might be... Oh, this. I don't need this battle. I hate this. I'm getting like drawn into these uh, engagements that I really don't need to be drawn into. They're like blocking my movements is the thing. I'm gonna suffer a lot of attrition over here. 300 per step. Ridiculous. Move up here instead. Try and take these guys on. Send you up that way. Yeah, sure, you're fine going up that way. Oh, get the get out of here. Fine, let's crush him. Test student, how's it going, buddy? Home of animals, how goes, how goes? The Queen of Sweden likes your mother. I think that's why she hates me so much, because uh, she liked... Oh, actually, no. There's there's a thing where if someone likes your predecessor, they tend to hate you. That is a thing. There we go. Crushed. But uh, but my mother was never my predecessor. Would have been, but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. That's another not necessary battle. Unnecessary is how they say it in English. I promise you I speak it. Try and stay put over here. The 4,000 against this 2,700. I think we'll be fine. And this 13,000 <laughs> over here maybe. Go for it. Pull you back. Let's go. What do we got going on over here? These guys look like they might be coming up over there. Don't, don't, don't. Stop it. God damn it. We're not at war. <laughs> Queen Geetha, Geetha's daughter of Scotland, has left the war because she's been replaced by her heir, I assume. Queen Ulfhilder. She's inherited this war of her mother's. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah, I typically take care of attrition. I, I usually keep an eye on it, but uh, but this is a situation where where uh, we just need the numbers. We need that numerical superiority. The new Queen of Sweden likes you. Her mother was... Oh, sorry. I misread you, Sahara 2020. My apologies. I misread you. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I should... Uh, I should be forgiving of, of the queens of Scotland and Sweden alike because... I mean... See, it's, it's the thing is, in theory... They could push for a white piece, but the AI is never going to do that, right? The AI is never going to push for a white piece when they have the upper hand, especially. This is ridiculous that we're getting into this fight. Um, so I say I could hold it against them that they kept fighting. Arguably, they could have ended the war, but they chose not to, and so they are just as uh, responsible as their uh, as their mothers before them, right? Uh, alternatively, you could consider the fact that we are arbitrary, and so our loathing probably goes uh, quite deep, right? My marshal, Queen Saga, has been showing off a promising new recruit. She may not be of as noble stock as you, my niece, but on my name I swear that Una is someone you would want by your side. And she's alright, not the best I've seen, but she is a blade master. You will take her on. Very well. Una shall serve me. Alright, what are we looking at here? Can we engage these fools? I think so. They're locked in their movement, so we should be able to crush that army there. We've got this... Locked down, I think. These guys are diving in, it looks like, over there. They're planning on it. We're actually defending in the forest, so we should be fine over here. I'm surprised they would choose to do that. And this is a guaranteed victory for us. There's our victory here. Oh, alright. No, we're fine, though. This is this is beautiful. This is wonderful. I couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> How did that work out? I don't know. But I'll take it. Got our victory over here as well. Chase these armies. Not too many of them. Crush this nonsense over here real quick. One of our alliances expired. Oh, from Lower Silesia. He he died. But I do believe we, we have... Uh... Oh, I guess we're, uh, we're, we're not allied. They've still joined us in this war. Like, the, the heir has joined us in this war because he was already in this war. But we should uh, renegotiate our alliance over here. Where was our alliance from in the first place? Was it our betrothal? Yes, it was our betrothal. So I should be able to... 
Huh, that's weird. We're, we're, we're going to get married to his what? To his, uh... Stefan... How are you related to this man? Or are you not? Like, they are related, but perhaps not closely enough where I can, uh, I can, I can, I can offer an alliance. So I wonder if I should actually break my betrothal only to remake the same alliance. We have four years to catch up, I guess, but I'm not sure. Conrado, you could, uh, you could give them the chance to end the war by pushing for a white peace as a show of your friendship. Oh, no. At the, I think at the very least we'll punish them by forcing them to pay. At the very least. If I'm not going to strip them of their land and titles... I'll at the very least force them to pay hefty fines for what they've done here. Just, they, they could have potentially cost us the war against uh, Pisa. What, what, how embarrassing would that have been? They could potentially cost us this war against these, uh, the, these peasants. Uh, they, they, they deserve some form of uh, reprimand, at the very least. At the very least. Move up over here. Hopefully we'll have this uh, battle go down. I think so. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. This should be an easy victory as well. And go ahead. Go on and reinforce this. It's a lost cause. Go on and reinforce this. Our champion got her head ripped off. Oh no. That's not ideal. <laughs> not exactly what I'd hoped for there. Doing good. Okay, yeah, there's our victory. Beautiful. Beautiful. Another one. Alright, this war's almost turned around. Why don't we go ahead and put this barony under siege over here. Start taking some of their capitals. How are their armies looking? They have a couple up over here. I think I could send this 6,700 up over here to deal with it. Or we could send this 4,847. It's got our champions. It's got more men of, uh, men at arms and things like that. Lady Hulud over here has improved. Flexible leader and improved marshal. Thanks to our uh, marshal as well as our cat, I imagine. Take a look at chat real quick. Uh, Papuamento. I am not familiar with uh, with Papuamento. No. Okay, we're moving up there. We'll be okay. Down over here, we've got some sieges going that I don't really. I don't think I really need this one. I wonder if I should send these soldiers up. Uh... I wonder if I should send these soldiers up here to actually like get uh, Sweden in check or something. You know. Not exactly sure. Okay, let's go ahead and crush some more armies, maybe. I, I think this war is almost definitely ours now. I think we'd be pretty hard... Pro we'd have to, like... We'd have to, like, lose it. You know, it's ours to lose. It's ours to lose. I don't think we will. Let's go. Chase these guys down. All right. Feeling, feeling significantly better now. <laughs> That was stressful as hell. Oh, we lost another champion. Are you kidding me? They're such good champions, too. I'm, I'm surprised the rate at which they're dying. There's another victory. Damn. They're such good champions. They're, they're, that, that was maybe not the best, but we've, we've lost quite a few really good ones. Let's go ahead and crush this army over here as well. 2,600 strong. We've got this battle over here. Yeah, this war is ours. This war is ours. Queens of Scotland and Sweden should be allowed to keep their titles but punished while Poland and Bohemia will be replaced with loyalists. Yeah, I should, I should hope I'll be able to replace because the, 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 the king, I believe it is, of Greater Poland has been a thorn for some time. He was causing troubles previously as well. And uh, I'm, I'm sick of his nonsense. Let's go up over there. Let's see if we can't intercept this. And Bohemia as well, good point. There we go, another victory is ours. Where is the siege? Almost done. 13 days left. Good. Trying to find other capitals to hit up, I guess. Other options, of course, to continue chasing after some of these peasants, but I don't think that's uh, necessary. Let's go ahead and avenge what happened in Scotland. We'll send this army in as well. They seem to be largely unbothered. So yeah, Scotland with, uh, with this uh, 6,000 strong, approximately. We're good over here. These guys are trying to come up this way. Try and intercept them. Let's go. They're just going to keep fleeing, I imagine. Another victory for us over here. Good stuff. Oh, look at that. Plus 77%. Go on. Stand up in rebellion against me. Try me. Do it again. God damn it. 
Yeah, I, I will. Uh, I'll give land away after this war. I, I, I went over my limit after we won that war against uh, Pisa, um, but there was no uh, Pisa to be had, so I had to. Um, I, I just wanted to deal with the uh, the fighting first. Wanted to make sure this was all organized before we gave land away, especially because it might change who we give uh, land to. Captured Duchess Grass's husband over here. Okay. How much are you worth? Nothing for a favor. Wow, that's how much your uh, wife cares for you. Beautiful. For a favor. He's not worth anything to the war either. There's no point. Like, well, we'll see if we execute him afterwards or something. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Up we go. Beautiful. 79%. I think we have the uh, objective and stuff, so the war score will tick in our favor. Oh, what I was saying earlier, by the way, and I completely slipped my mind, is one thing that I really like about uh, Paradox, like grand strategy games and stuff, is that they do model um, overextension uh, quite a bit. They, they model overextension extensively, where, uh, you know, in like Europa Universalis, for example, uh, you, you get, uh, I forget the name of the uh, mechanic now, it's slipping my mind, but if you expand too quickly, aggressive expansion, other nations will be like worried about you. They're planning to do similar things. I think in 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 Victoria Three, where it's like if you if you grow too aggressively or if you do too many aggressive things, people will be upset at you. In Europa Universalis, coalitions can form against you. Where if you do something, take too much land at once or too quickly, uh, multiple realms will will unite in a temporary alliance to crush you and, and hold you back. In Crusader Kings Three, if you grow too quickly. You get all these, you know, revolts and rebellions. Again, same thing in Europa Universalis. If you try to have too many cultures and too many language groups and too many religions under your banner too quickly, they'll all start to rise up against you. They do a really good job of, uh, of presenting uh, unrest. And I was actually tempted to do a video uh, about how uh, different games uh, make, like, uh, what's it called? Turn unrest into a mechanic. Uh, so you compare it to like public order in Total War games versus something more complex like the various systems in, in like any Paradox game. Uh, and I was tempted to do a video breaking down like the thinking, the logic. I, I might still do that. It's a topic I'm very interested in from like a game design. Turning history into game mechanics is something I always find interesting. Uh, but I, I, just, I wasn't sure if people would be interested in that. And I worked on it a little bit and then got distracted by countless other animals, you know. <laughs> by countless other animals. Loki heard you last time and provided a better gift than gold. Oh yeah, what's going on here? Rodent killer. Oh god damn it! <laughs> As Loki approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise her. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Oh good, okay, keep up the good work. Rat free for five years, huge health boost. Oh awesome! Didn't even know it was causing me health problems, but I'll take it. A couple more victories and we should have this war done, and then we can finally go for that champagne I've been talking about. We're going to see almost a thousand hours in CK3 and I want to get something different. Can I make a tutorial on how to mod things on Steam? Uh, I will, are you in, uh, you in the Discord? Because uh, we can, well, I'm more than happy to, to help make sure you're having a fantastic time with this game. And, and there are quite a few mods out there right now. Like, are you looking for overhauls or are you looking for small changes? What are you, what are you looking for? Modding Crusader Kings 3 is, uh, can be. Uh, it's not always, but it can be relatively easy. Well, rather, getting mods. Modding it yourself is challenging. It's, it's not easy to mod the game yourself. But to, to get some mod that somebody else has put together, uh, it should be pretty easy to do. We'll happily provide assistance in the, uh, in the Discord. Why don't we go around? So rather than take all that attrition, why don't we go around and actually keep some of these warriors alive so when they come over here, they can represent our lost warrior, right? Two years. That's a little bit faster than it was before. I'll take it. Once we take uh, the capital of Scotland, we'll get another huge boost to this independence war. So maybe a couple of battles will do the trick instead, or are we maxed out? Yeah, we're maxed out on battle-related war score. Prince of Darkness for a CK3? Uh, maybe. Prince of Darkness, maybe. There are a couple of mods, actually, that I'm, uh, I'm really curious to try out. There are some uh, there are some historical mods that I that I've been eyeing. Uh, funnily enough, the one that Surreal Beliefs is playing right now is is a mod that I've been eyeing uh, as well. He, he brought it to my attention way back now, way back when, and I've been thinking about that one for quite some time. Uh, there is oh man, there there are a couple of mods out there. There's a uh, 
can't, I can't, the names are slipping my mind. There are a couple of mods that I've been looking at uh, for a potential future playthrough. The thing is, though, with this DLC, you know, around the corner, these guys are dying over here. They're starving. I want to get them some supplies. Um, with this DLC right around the corner, who knows when it's going to release? Uh, I want to try and uh, make sure I'm not in the middle of a playthrough when it drops. Not just because I don't want that play. Like if that playthrough breaks, I'll be it'll, I'll be bummed out. Uh, but also because um, we want to make sure uh, to take advantage of all the new features that come with the next uh, next DLC, right? XCOM Extraterrestrial Invasion mod. That would be, you know, I wouldn't put it past modders. Um, truth be told. I remember when I played the first, like, Game of Thrones mod. Uh, I think the first one I played was in Europa Universalis, actually. And then I found out that there's a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings as well. Two. Crusader Kings 2 has a Game of Thrones mod. Three, I think, is getting one. It's getting a Lord of the Rings mod as well. And as you can imagine, I've got my eyes on them. Um, but uh, mod modders can do some wild stuff. There's this really interesting mod as well. Uh, again, I forget the name of it. But basically, it, it's like a post-apocalyptic North and South America. Uh, is 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 where it's set. So all the units are accordingly like it's 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 just, it's really cool. I don't even know if I can call it alternate history, but it's really it's a really cool concept. It's a really cool idea. And yeah, there's a there's a mod being made for a landmass that's not even in the game at all. You know, it's just, it's brilliant stuff. It's fantastic stuff. Paradox tries at least to make their game games plural super moddable, and that's just so freaking awesome. Uh, Wickles lost service. Come back to party. Basically, yelling, yelling fight me. <laughs> lost it again. I mean, good timing at least. At least you, you 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 caught that moment, I guess. Things have been going well, but I hope your internet problems uh, go away. And indeed, Ashley rodents. Well, unless you have pet pet rodents, pet rodents are are okay. They're acceptable. Pet rats are extremely intelligent. Dirty rats, not so good. Anger management. Oh, don't tell me I have another rival. After the end, that's the one, the Uber Jammer. After the end is the one that's post-apocalyptic North and South America. That's the one. I should just say Americas. It's the collective term for it, right? Um, I should, I should, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, after the end, it looks very interesting. There's so many really cool and interesting mods out there right now. Um, I'm like paralyzed by choice. Raise Crown Authority and mix up titles. I mean, we could raise Crown Authority, but I, I, I see no... Like, we're already at uh, at Limited. If we go too high up, we start seeing that opinion wither away a little bit. And that's what I'm a little... Not really worried about, I guess, but trying to avoid. We could do it. We could do it. But we already have kind of everything we would want with Limited Tribal Authority. So I'm, I'm hesitant to, to move up. We'll definitely be shifting tri uh, titles around, though. These, these Rebels will be put in their place. Especially the... King of Greater Poland and, uh, and 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 Bavaria, right? Or sorry, Bohemia, Bavaria, Bohemia. <laughs> I have Bavaria on the mind for some reason. My vassal Jarl Toki is getting on my nerves. He's always the good one, preaching about one virtue after another. His constant lectures are having the opposite effect on me. I will teach him a lesson, making him my victim. Or the next time we meet, I'll be nice. I am charming, but this will stress me out. What do you guys think? I'm arbitrary as well. I'm arbitrary as well. What do you guys think? Become become his bully. Keep alive the endless uh, baton passing of bullying. The thing, David Papin. Yeah, exactly. If we have any problematic vassals, we could look at, uh, at, at I guess checking them. That's a good point. Um, though typically, I like my vassals to be powerful, but clearly we've given them a bit too much power. Rather than doing us favors, they're, they're causing us some trouble over here. They have been for some time now. I wish it was a Trojan War Greek mythology mod. Oh, that would be cool. There is a Bronze Age mod that's pretty interesting. I, I wish it extended beyond, uh, uh, like, the Fertile Crescent and, and, and like, the Mediterranean. I, I wish it extended beyond the Mediterranean uh, is, my, is my only thing. But it is a really cool-looking mod, and it is very interesting as well. But it is a Bronze Age mod uh, for Crusader Kings 3, and that's also looking very interesting. Um, I, I do wish it included, yeah, like, just a bit further... Uh, uh, eastward, yeah. Carry on the I I cycle. Oh, <laughs> he needs to respect my authority. 
What would Cersei Lannister do? Oh my god. More than just teach him a lesson. God. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, I see what goes in. You were driving. Driving and watching the stream. Oh my. Back home now. Heart of... Uh, Edgar, are you saying like Hearts of Iron 4? Like the, like the World War II game? Or is that a mod that I'm not too familiar with? Yeah, I don't think I'm chasing uh, feudal CJ is the thing. That's why I'm not uh, rushing towards absolute authority. I will teach this boy a lesson. He is my vassal after all. What else are they for? Besides, he probably reminds me at least a little bit of my uncle, right? My uncle, if I recall correctly, is also... Um, yeah, he's also a dwarf. They're roughly the same age. They have a very similar, uh, similar look about them, you know? This one's just got a slightly worse haircut. He reminds me enough about my uncle, so I'll teach him a lesson. Let's go for it. <laughs> exactly. Gergazzles. How do you how do you say that by the way? Is it Gergazzles or is it Gergazzles? I'd like to be able to say names properly, obviously, as you can imagine. So so please uh, please correct me if I've gotten it uh, horribly wrong before. These sieges, man. The, 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 the Anglo-Saxon Catholic Uprising is trying its best, but it's it's about to face my wrath, because we've just about finished this independence war. To finally be able to put Toki in his place is improving my mood considerably. I borrowed his favorite doll, and he now has to do what I tell him to. <laughs> it's all in good fun. Man, playing as a kid sometimes can be so fun. There's the sound of victory. There's the There's the tooting of victory. These guys are starving up over here. Let's bring an end to this fighting. As much as I would have loved to do this, let's bring an end to this fighting. Um, enforce our demands. You imprison all rebellious vassals and gain a title revocation reason against each of them. The independence faction is disbanded and its members cannot join factions for 10 years. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of belligerents over here. Enforce those demands. Let's do it. Three years this lasted. Three years. Greetings, my liege. May you live in harmony and contentment. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Harmony? The very harmony you tried to break? So be it. Alright. Let's keep this simple. Duchess Grassus, I have been patient with you for- Holy crap! What the- What?! <laughs> what?! Yeah, Edgar, uh, unfortunately, the um, Hearts of Iron 4 is like the one uh, Paradox game that I just haven't, uh, of like the, of their like GSGs, that I haven't been able to get into. I think I have like 14 minutes of Hearts of Iron 4, and then, and then no more. I don't know, it just didn't click for some reason. I'm sure I'd like it, but it just doesn't click for me for some reason. Game needs a DLC for child rulers. Feels like you're handcuffed at times. Uh, how do you mean? Like, what would you, uh, what would you like to see? Gurgazzles? Okay, perfect. Thank you for the clarity. Thank you for the uh, clarification, rather. I mean, we aren't aiming for the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs play it through, clearly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Lots of firewood for <laughs> Y1K. <laughs> we got some sacrifices lined up. You're right. <laughs> oh, one sec, folks. I need, I need some water over here. Home animals, you gotta go. Sounds good. Well, thanks for dropping by. Have yourself a uh, wonderful Monday. Thanks for coming through. Sahara 2020. Sorry, English, please. I cannot read uh, cannot read uh, Arabic. There are like what two two scripts I can read, and Arabic is uh, is not one of them. <laughs> DLC for child rulers. I mean, what would you want in that DLC? I'm curious. I like I like it. I like I like that. Uh, I like the premise. But but what would uh, but what would, uh, what, what, what would it be? Now, okay, for real though, Duchess Grassus, she is. She doesn't even hate me that much. Like, what is, what is your problem? Why would you join this uh, rebellion? She's 58 years old. She is a very capable warrior. What do you guys think? I was so ready to revoke this title. I was so ready to revoke this title. Five, it would be cool to have a 500 BC mod. BC, oh, okay, okay. Where you juggle resources and opinions, political powers. It would be interesting. 500 BC, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. I thought you said five. I thought you said five hundred eighty at first, and I'm like, I guarantee there's gonna be a mod. Oh, sorry, not a mod. A, a DLC for for an earlier start date. God damn it! Why do you have to be so good? 
uh, making my decisions harder. And then Bohemia was the other uh, other source of trouble, right? Kingdom of King Tyke Bethrixen of Bohemia. He's uh, a decent marshal, but not much else. Who would I give this land to? My grandmother. Oh, damn, she's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. But she would give it to Queen Saga in, uh, like as, as an inheritance, right? When she passes away. So one of my aunts becomes more powerful. Now, this aunt loves me. This aunt loves me. I could give... I could give Bohemia to this aunt, actually. Whose primary heir is in jail. My prisoner. Why are you my prisoner? Why have I taken you... It doesn't tell you why you've taken somebody prisoner, right? I don't think so, at least. I could ransom her for a favor. Oh. Wait. What's happening here? Oh, hang on. What's Wait, hold on, hold on. What's happening over here? So, the Queen of Denmark, her heir, isn't related. Did you make this elect... Oh, my God. She made it election-based. She made it election-based. I could convert the Bohemian. I could. Force his conversion as I release him. He'd like me more for it. We'd lose at negative 10 and the negative, the negative 10. We'll lose negative 20. Uh, arbitrary and deceitful would no longer be sins. So we'd lose negative 40. And uh, over domain limit's going to go soon. We're going to deal with that right now. So they would like us, but should we punish them? That's what I'm trying to figure out, right? They stood up against us. But what I do with uh, Duchess Grassus, I, I guess I could be more forgiving of Duchess Grassus because she's a capable warrior and I can respect that, you know? Whereas the uh, well, King Tyke over here, I mean, he's a decent marshal. I mean, can I respect that? Is he better than my current marshal? I can't make him my marshal, but I was going to use that as a barometer. Hmm. What about our chancellors over here? Any any powerful vassal? No. Chieftain Magnus? Let's assign you then. Hunchback diplomat? A certain ring to it, I guess. Modify the title? Uh, title? How do you mean Marshal? You mean like, uh... I don't think I can change the, um... Uh, like voting type or anything because I'm not technically its direct uh, holder. So how, how do you mean? I, I just want to make sure I, I understand what you're saying. Election base, the horror, all those voters voting for stuff. <laughs> well, it's not all those voters, it's just like seven voters, you know? Grass of snow type, yes? You mean revocation? Yeah. I could, I mean, I could convert him on his way out, but I certainly don't want to give him the, uh, the the territory, you know? Again, insult to injury, but who do we give this to then? 22, 9, 11, 12. I, I, I could just give it to my aunt over here. The Kingdom of Denmark is already quite large. I could give her some more territory, and then she could spread our, our collective influence together. Again, she quite likes me, the primary heir here. I could release her for a favor. Negotiate release. Gain a weak hook. And then... Uh, when she becomes the Queen of Denmark, I'll have a uh, I'll have a hook on the Queen of Denmark, who is also a vassal of mine. So this actually works quite nicely. This actually works quite nicely. I wouldn't think to neglect the relationship ties that uh, drew others into rebelling against you. Well, the only reason we're uh, we're we're being forgiving of Scotland and Sweden, uh, the queens of, uh, is because uh, their mothers had declared the wars, and so the daughters simply got dragged into those wars. That's why we're. Uh, we're uh, kind of being forgiving there. Now she's not the best. Marshall's okay. She's not as good as her, uh, as, as as my aunt here. She was easier to get to my aunt. There we go. Like doesn't even come close. But it's an opportunity, right? It's an opportunity to get. This hook, and I have Queen Theory of Sweden, of course, one of my prisoners as well. I could release her with a hook. I'm not just going to let them off the hook that easy. I will gain hooks on them, and then they'll, they 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 shouldn't stand uh, stand against me. All right, let's go ahead and get this weak hook on uh, on on this heir over here. Negotiate your release. I will not recruit her. Just the weak hook there, because uh, we'll give this territory to uh, to Queen Saga Bohemia. Go ahead and. Uh, where is revoke title? I need high tribal authority. Okay. Well, there is a reason to get it. 
I'll be I'll be damned if I don't uh, if this isn't the thing that triggers it. A massive war for independence finally convinces me that I need to uh, centralize my rule a bit more. Pass high tribal authority. Some will be upset at me. They'll be dealt with. They'll be dealt with. And all that for one vassal. <laughs> but now we have the tools, right? Revoke title. I definitely have a cause for revocation, I'd, revocation, I'd say. The Kingdom of Bohemia, all of it. The Chiefdom of Northerland. Wow. You had so much. And I actually can't take Austerland because it's under siege. It is under siege. I gotta take care of these fools first. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, well he gets to stay in prison until uh, until that that's taken care of. But we will revoke the Kingdom of Bohemia and the Chiefdom of Northerland. We'll give this to uh, our aunt over here. Known criminal. Well, I'm going to revoke this. And I should be able to come in and revoke the, uh, the others afterwards as well. Oh, I got to do them one at a time. I forgot. Right. Right. I keep forgetting. Make Grassus my steward. Uh, why would I do that? I'm curious. I don't know if I missed something there. Gets a pressed claim. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do much with it. Maybe I shouldn't actually uh, release him from my jail cell. Maybe he should be one of the many we uh, sacrifice for the Y1K celebrations. I broke that title. I see no choice but to bow to your decision to strip me of the Kingdom of Bohemia. Now, what do you think would happen? What? It's not an act of tyranny. The head better not mark me as a tyrant. It literally said it wouldn't, but it, it says it's happened. Well, if it's happened, it's happened. But I, I don't, I don't think so. Where's, 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 where's Saga? Where's my aunt? No, because the tyrant is negative five. That's from a previous uh, decision we made. The, the execution we did. So we're fine. Let's go ahead and grant you titles: the Kingdom of Bohemia, and uh, what is this? Usatia. Oh, I see. We'll have to pass these uh, vassals on. I imagine their rightful lieges are. Oh, the Kingdom of Pomerania instead. I can make this title, make my aunt extremely powerful. <laughs> That's uh, it sounds a little scary, but she loves me. She does love me. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Why do I love this aunt so much? What did she do for me? What has she done for me? She's a lunatic. <laughs> She's a witch. She's intelligent. I guess there's that. <laughs> Eric Davis, don't worry. I, I missed it when it was first mentioned as well. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I guess what I'm hoping for here is, well, those are three different titles, so there'll be three different heirs. Is the thing. I guess I'm just hoping that when she grows so powerful, she'll extend her territories a little bit. She'll do some work in Central Europe. I guess that's what I'm hoping for. So fine. Let's go ahead and grant her these titles. Give her the uh, Kingdom of Bohemia and the Kingdom of Pomerania as well. My god, that is a lot of land. Sure, let's go for it. Gains 160 opinion of me. She already loves me. This is like, we're doubling down on that. But that's roleplay versus uh, that min-max, right? Kingdom of Bohemia, Kingdom of Pomerania. Go ahead and grant you these titles. We can't take them back. Denmark is already too powerful, but uh, they are... But again, they love us. <laughs> 8,400. That's the thing that worries me. They are very powerful. 8,400. They are like half our strength. You know what? I can make this decision later as well. We've stripped the man that needed to be stripped of his powers. Let's go ahead and deal with these 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 peasants. And then and then I got him I got him all over that decision before because it's a big one. It's a big one to give all that territory to uh, to one person. It is a big one. There's that release. Farewell. What do you guys think? I'm torn. Because it's cool, but terrifying. Ominous. My aunt, Queen Theory, has given birth to a daughter. Oh, a jail cell jail cell kid. Since the little one is part of the Flat Nefer dynasty, she should be blessed with a good name. Alfritha? It's not a bad name. Divine blood is all she has. A good Norse name, perhaps. Hafritha, Huld, Signy. I'm not sure. Um, let's go with the, let's go with Thurithur. Sure, let's go with that. I like it. 
give her Pomerania and give Bohemia to somebody else. Well, I'm actually thinking the other way around. Give her Bohemia and give Pomerania to somebody else because of their uh, relative strengths. Maybe grow strong and wise from inside this jail cell. Wow, she's actually she's she's in jail as well. Uh, she did nothing wrong. She is my cousin. I wonder if I should just free her. Once the siege is done, I don't think I can fight this battle because we're not at war with these guys. Once this uh, siege is done, though, hopefully we'll be able to. Um, Hopefully we'll be able to uh, revoke that last title from this guy. Now, I'm a little over my limit, so I should consider that as well. What should we do over here? We've got the Chieftain of... I can't say this. Carodigian, I think. We could hand this off. Who's nearby here? Lady Huld. Let's go ahead and empower you a bit more. Grant you one and two titles. I can't give her any of these. Can I give her anything else anywhere else? This will hand off to somebody else. These will, will give somebody else. Yeah. So let's go ahead and give her these. She'll like us more for it. We could use that, I guess. She's not the best. She's okay. Uh, but she has been spending time with our cat. So I guess, you know, we could uh, <laughs> reward her for that. No, she just has territory in the area. So hopefully this will empower her. Uh, I guess I could give her the Yaldum as a whole. And then she might try and make some, some moves. And she'll love me even more for it. Remains my vassal. So there's that. Sure. Let's give her that Yaldum. I don't need it for myself. There you go. That was a sudden rise in uh, in strength. Kanye West voice, and no one on should have all this power. <laughs> I love it, Limstella. Oh my god. <laughs> now I have uh, I have the music video in my head, except with uh, with Queen Saga's like uh, Queen Saga in place of uh, Kanye West. That's that's that that's 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 some pretty priceless imagery. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, we need to get rid of one more holding. One sec. One more holding. What do we do? Como. Down over here, this little isolated place. Sure. Who holds this? Countess Enrique. Osatru, Swabian, but at least Osatru. Let's go ahead and give you Como. Yeah, sure. Go for it. There you go. And now people will hate us less. What do we got going on over here? Nominate successor for which title? Kingdom of Bohemia. I guess, right, technically I have it right now. We can cross that bridge when we get there. there there'll be some time before it, I need to be succeeded, I should hope. Seven prisoners can be ransomed. You can't afford it. You can. Let's go and ransom you. Got a countess over here. Ransom you off. Chieftain Tyke is staying. The vassal uh, prisoners are staying. Queen Ulfilter of Scotland. We'll release you. You're not going to have a, a prison, baby. Let's go ahead and... I almost clicked execute there. Negotiate release with a weak hook. Again, her mother is the one who joined the rebellion, not uh, not not her herself. So we'll, we'll let her go. She won't like us for this hook, but at least she won't try anything until uh, that hook expires, I guess. We'll negotiate your release. We are, of course, a... Uh, a plotter, right? That's who we're trying to play as, so I think this makes sense. Negotiate your release. Uh, Queen Theory over here. I believe you are of Sweden. Again, her mother was the one who kicked off the rebellion. She's also very capable. It would be a shame to lose her. So we will also negotiate your release. Uh, gain that weak hook and renounce your claims. We'll not accept. Okay. We'll just have her renounce her claims then, I think. She's my aunt. She has claims over everything of mine. She won't accept both, unfortunately. Banish her instead. No, we won't do that. What do you guys think? We cook or, or, or renounce those claims? Because those claims could be used not just against me, but if she has me killed, it could be used against quite a few people. Don't give Lady Hold anything. You had grudges. You were holding grudges, perhaps? Holding a cat by the scruff of the neck is, uh, is, 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 is fine. That's how you get them to calm down. I mean, depending on how aggressively you're doing it. The scruff, right? Like, like, like cat mothers carry their cat children. That's what vets do a lot of the time as well, to like stop the uh, cat from flailing. Shame we can't give land to Loki. Yeah, true. I think renounce claims, right? Yeah. Because otherwise she's going to try something. This is every. This is all of... This is everything. This is everything that matters she has claims on. So I think we'll force her to renounce her claims. She'll hate us a bit for it, but uh, overall I think she'll still be okay with us. We recently gave her duchies. This betrayal is honestly... It stings. It stings. It's not her fault. It was her mother's fault. We'll renounce these claims. 
and let you free. Okay. And then uh, Chieftain Tyke. We still have work to do with him. Empty council position. We need a steward. So sorry, who uh, you were suggesting we get... Uh, who was it again? Not Kraka. There was a suggestion for who to get as uh, as our as our steward, but I'm looking at this list over here and I'm thinking High Chieftain over here with a 20 is the ideal choice. I'm feeling like uh, our High Chieftain is the is the right choice over here. But I'll, I'll wait to see that suggestion again. I think Sahara 2020, you had a suggestion, right? Uh, holding grudges. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised you missed that one, Natalie. But thank you, thank you. Did I say cat children? I meant kittens. Did I say cat children? God damn. <laughs> Man, I need to... I need to sleep more like a normal person. Accepting conditions of your release. Farewell. There's that favor hook. No choice but to accept. You're damn right. Good stuff. Those are all the ransoms coming through. Let's, let's finish this rebellion off, shall we? Courtly inspiration. I'm incredibly impressed by one of the household champions. I was finally introduced to him face to face, and I'm no less impressed now. I'll remember his words for the rest of my life. This should actually be uh, introduced to her. We don't have any male champions. They're all uh, they're all ladies. I'll remember her words for the rest of my life. Give others their due, and you will receive your own in return, making me generous, which is kind of, I feel like, contrary to everything else we are, maybe. Work hard, and you can master anything. I feel like diligent is kind of more on point. With, with who we are and, and what we've done so far. Greatness comes in time. Be there to grasp it when it does. Patience is certainly not something we uh, we understand, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think patience is something we understand. Fur, fur babies. <laughs> I can't believe I said cat children. Goddamn. Cat kids, I would understand, because at least kid is, uh, yeah, there's an alliteration there. Generous. We're not generous. We're definitely not. We've not been generous. Diligent, I feel like, is more in keeping with uh, with what we've been doing, with how we managed to tackle three, two back to back sets of three wars at the same time. I would say Ear does not shy away from hard work. Exactly. Not likely to learn generosity after two rebellions. Precisely. Yeah. Diligence, though. I think patience falls in that same boat. Uh, the Uber Jammer. <laughs> kittens. I like it. Jancy. <laughs> kittens. Yeah, that's like that's, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Work hard, and you can master anything. And I think it's coming from one of the champions, right? So I imagine this is one of the champions who who won us the, these victories. Uh, is is sharing this wisdom with us? Work hard, and you can master anything. Excellent. Okay, I do feel bad for these guys that are marching while starving. Ten thousand. Okay, we're not going to be letting them go anytime soon, unfortunately. Over to Lunenburg. There's a there's a Lunenburg in in Canada. I wonder if that's the same. Keep going, keep going. I wonder if I should get. So we got another seven thousand over here, slowly starving away. Let's go. This must be the last of this rebellion, right? Pull my pocket. Law says there's something really off about Crusader Kings three. I can't put my finger on it. Feels bare bones. Um. I think what you're maybe... Did you play Crusader Kings 2? Because I feel like what uh, might be happening is, uh, from like memory, you're comparing Crusader Kings 3 at launch with Crusader Kings 2 after all the DLC. Because a lot of the DLC... Remember, at Crusader Kings 2 at launch, you couldn't even play a Muslim nation. India wasn't on the map. You couldn't play a Muslim nation. There was like barely anything at launch for Crusader Kings 2. Uh, whereas by the end of Crusader Kings 2, there was so much going on. And I feel like uh, that might be why it feels comparatively a little uh, less intense. Potentially, maybe. Never played CK2? Interesting. Hmm. Find it bare bones, eh? Which, uh, where all have you played or tried playing? Uh, Eric, I'm so here for this sassy 13-year-old. Oh, you humbly accept your terms of release? You're damn right. I know, right? <laughs> I can't imagine the, uh, the level of sass in the courtroom. Take a look at chat real quick. Want to make sure I didn't, uh, miss anything. The cat isn't likely to have taught you patience. God, ain't that the truth. What's going on here? A scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my vassal, Duchess Grassus. Yeah, it's probably me, deep in my mind. We must stop the villain behind this, unfortunately. I was going to potentially let her go, wasn't I? I guess I was going to let her go. Because she's so capable, a warrior. 
Who's her heir? Her heir doesn't hate me either. Not the best, but she's still a child. I could let her go. I could let her go. Ah, she can she can wait. Crush these rebels first. Ireland, Byzantium, Hispania. Try uh try playing something a bit more different, maybe try like uh North Africa or Saharan Africa. Like you'll have a very different experience if you're playing, you know, along here or down here or if you're playing uh here. These guys have a lot of different mechanics as well. Over here you'll you'll see some different flavors for sure. Uh I, I think there's a there's a lot more to uh to, to see, I, I think. Come on, bring me these victories. Go on, go on. There we go. Come at me. Our mercenary companies are leaving now. That's fine. We don't need them anymore. My god. What are the negotiated release terms for Grasses? True, I should check. There's that victory. That Catholic uprising has been brought to an end. Calling me cold-hearted. You haven't seen the least of it, buddy. And what is this occupation? This doesn't matter to us. I don't think this is... Leader Unwan of what rebellion? Oh, my uh, my aunt is dealing with the rebellion right now. Fair enough. Disband, not just you. Disband all. Please and thank you. Jesus. That was that was a long set of back-to-back -back wars. And we're about to dive into another one, too. Uh, conditions for the release of Grassus. Let's see. Renounced claims would just be on the Duchy of Threndalog, which is where? All the way up over here. Okay. Uh, or we could gain a weak hook on her. Oh, but she won't even accept. Ah, if she's not going to accept the weak hook, then I don't know if uh, I don't know if she deserves to go free. Uh, hold my pocket, lol. I would recommend. So, so I actually have two videos on my channel. One is called Ten Great Starts uh, in Crusader Kings Three, and the other one is called like Seven Great Starts with the Northern Lords DLC. Um, so you can watch that if you want like a brief understanding of what uh, of what they are and, and why they're different and why I recommend them. There are some in they're they're basically spread across the world, but I would suggest trying out North Africa, uh, even Saharan Africa has the the flavor the flavor here is very different times two. You got North and, and Saharan, and then uh, I would say if you try playing as like the Persians, just like in this general area, you'll have an interesting experience. Uh, up over here, there are some very uh, unique mechanics and opportunities as well. Uh, and then down over here in the Indian subcontinent and around the Indian subcontinent, there's a lot of very cool different mechanics and decisions and stuff you can make. There is a lot of flavor. I've been playing as like a Hindu, for example, choosing your the deity you worship or uh, playing as uh, well, playing as Muslims and, and fighting jihads. And there's, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. You can have uh, more... Uh, more uh, uh, convene with spirits and things like that. There's all kinds of really fun stuff that you can do uh, in, in, in these various parts of, uh, uh, of of the map. And I'm sure they'll get fleshed out even more, like the Northern Lords DLC fleshed out the, uh, well, the Northern Lords. I'm sure we'll see more, but there is a fair bit out there. I was uh, I was surprised that you found them to be too similar. But uh, yeah, I would, I would suggest some of those. Yeah, check out the DLC one as well. But uh, I would definitely recommend, yeah, th some of the ones that I mentioned right now. Should try a new region entirely. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll that'll really I think I think you'll have a lot of fun and it'll you'll you'll feel that like oh this is fresh finally one hundred percent. Another fun thing to try is there's this dude uh, over here I forget his name now Hestine Count Hestine he can basically go anywhere in the world if you want to like try something funky there's some really cool things you can do um, but uh, but yeah I, I would suggest trying uh, the steppe or or the Indian subcontinent or uh, or perhaps. Um, North Africa or Saharan Africa. You, you'll have a lot of fun, I think. I think, at least. Alright, shall we make a move towards uh, Champagne? I could use a drink. I think so, right? We'll come in from up over there. Leave a, leave a little bit of a pockmark. Ghana's also a fun time, yeah. Yeah, bringing up old religions. Hellenism. Zoroastrianism, yeah. Sadan so Sharma, I would like to see some more importance given to trade. I think we'll see it. I'll, I would be surprised. What do you guys think? Should we go on, go into this war over here? It should be an easy war for us. I, I don't think we'll struggle at all. We could wait a little bit of time to recover some uh, some soldiers, I guess, but I don't think we're, gonna, we're even going to recruit all of them for this uh, war. But um, I think we're going to see trade get some more love uh, when uh, at the same time as them adding Southeast Asia. I would like that to be the case. Uh, very important trade hubs over here. Um, very important trade routes over here. Uh, the Chola expansion down over here makes sense as well. So I would like to see Southeast Asia added alongside a huge like trade um, 
angle. We're, it's either going to be that or trade republics are going to be introduced while introducing trade. It's going to be one or the other or maybe both at once is a big DLC. Either way, I, I would love to see trade a bit more fleshed out as well. I like making trade empires. I like that in, uh, in Europa Universalis 4 especially, I like making trade empires. <laughs> There's something special about it. I don't, I think um, if we do declare this war, I guess we could go for like Valois, I suppose. Kind of cut in. I will get the revenge. I, I think we start with, uh, with, with, with Champagne and then have a, have a, have a sip of, have a sip of West Francia and then move in. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> and then move deeper into West Francia to the charming high queen ear of the North Sea. I call on you to honor our alliance to join me in the war against the tyranny of Queen Mikova. Hold on. Who's caught? Oh, 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 right. You're the defender in this war. That's what it was. I wonder if they'll add a 1215 start. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if they add more start, uh, start uh, dates. Especially like, like, uh, like bookmark ones, landmark, time mark events in history. What's the word for it? You know what I mean trade and traditions i don't they're not they're not very they're not punsters with their uh, with their um dlc names Cre creative assembly is, are, are, can be punsters sometimes with uh with like official stuff you know but uh paradox like developer diaries tend to have like a sense of humor and stuff but their actual like names of dlc and stuff i think are tend to stay pretty grounded <laughs> so unfortunately i don't think we'll see that natalie but we can call it that anyway uh yeah, Eric, that's a good point as well. This is definitely a very different type of strategy game as well, for sure. I'm gonna, I'll, of course, accept this. I'm not going to uh, ignore that call. They came to our aid, we'll come to theirs, and I, I think I'll actually help gain some more prestige, right? Do, uh, do, do, do right by my allies over here. Um, we could try raising our soldiers. Maybe... I want to be careful not to put ourselves out of position. Maybe over here. Let's go. And... Let's get the uh, other of the two Christmas colors out. An arms, raise all. Let's go. I don't think we'll need too many soldiers here. Yeah, 2,200. I'm surprised they even needed us to join in. This is where you cancel the patrol. They'll conveniently forget you were ever allied to of God. I kind of wish I'd done that. Damn it. Now I kind of wish I'd done that, the Uber Jammer. That would have been nice. <laughs> but too late now. We've we've, we've, we've chosen our, our, our path here. That would have been nice, though. Very, uh, very arbitrary. Very deceitful. I love it. My paths happen to have crossed with Mayor Keto, and to my surprise, it seems as though he does not have a great impression of my friend, Princess Sif. Perhaps I should take this opportunity to change his mind. People should be talking about me instead. Am I really that friendly with Sif? Oh, yeah, I guess we really get along, eh? Sure, why not? Why not? Let me tell you a story about Sif. I'm a charmer as well, let's not forget. I might be arbitrary and deceitful, but I'm also a charmer. I tried to paint Princess Sif in the best possible light, and Mayor Kettle gradually started listening with greater and greater interest. When he muttered, I never knew that, to himself, I knew I had made an impression. My friend is a great woman. Beautiful. Now, actually, can we, can we call the kids in? Meet peers, let's do it. Bring all the children of the realm together and let's have a party. Send out the invitations. The feast equivalent of a child. <laughs> I can't believe we have over 5,000 gold. Yeah, I need to spend this in this prestige and money somewhere. I'm saving the prestige for some of the big wars that are coming. The subjugation war especially. Everyone is here. As all the small lords and ladies are ushered into the room, I feel myself grow giddier and giddier. I am thrilled that Olga, the daughter of Jarl Andre of Upland, and my kinswoman Alfrilder, Alfrilder could both make it. Not to mention my cousin Snorri. Hoping there were a dwarf. However, I am less thrilled that my victim Jarl Toki seems to have shown up as well. Well, never mind him. Oh, can I, like, harass him at this party? We didn't get that chance last time. I wonder if I can uh, harass him. That'd be fun. Welcome. Even that music's so great. It's not just the war music in this game that's good. All the music in this game is fantastic. These men of arms take so long to arrive. Where are we going? Why are we going? Why, why are we in this war? <laughs> I should have actually deployed uh, up over here or something and taken the waters to take us to uh, to the capital here. Playing house. <laughs> Meet Piers is a lame name for a party. 
I, I, I guess there could be a better name for it, fair. Humiliating France and taking their uh, 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 sounds. Oh, oh, taking the like territory sounds good to me. And very fitting to a new divine ruler. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're, we're going to be taking some of West Francia. We've already taken East Francia and Lotharingia. We're taking some West Francia for sure. My kinsman, Sorkvir, approaches me with a heap of fabric in his arms. As he dumps it on the floor in front of me, I realize that it's a heap of clothing. For adults. Let's play house together. Only if we are the parents. Sure, and Toki is the... Boom! There it is, baby! <laughs> uh, okay, I can suggest we play chess instead. Stresses me out because I'm charming. Oh, okay. So this also stresses me out because I'm charming. But, again, I'm also arbitrary. This party is the charming part. Grow closer to forming a rivalry with Jarl Toki. I think so. I think we'll do it. Gonna have a mental breakdown as a kid. Gonna have a mental breakdown as a kid. Uh, yeah, sure. And uh, Toki is the dog. <laughs> Can't have him be a cat. That would be an insult to our cat. My vassal, Jarl Asa, has climbed the highest tree around and is gesturing enthusiastically for me to follow. It wouldn't be the first tree I climbed, but it looks like a long way up. Oh, come on, I can't be a coward. I am no craven. I won't back down. Let's do it. Nice! Improve my prowess. Beautiful. So when the time comes to duel my uncle, I'll hopefully slay him. Oh no, playing rough. I thought Dobrava, the daughter and heir of Jarl Andre of Upland, and the peasant boy were merely pretending to fight, but suddenly there's blood in the dirt. Dobrava hits the ground with a grunt, and the peasant standing above her moves to attack again. Go in to save her, ask for help, or join in and, and have another victim. Oh man, that's, that's a bit much, right? <laughs> Eric Davis. <laughs> so, yeah, need, need, a, need a little uh, switcheroo on that one. Definitely better options out there. <laughs> what should we call our 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 uh, vow renewal party? Let's call it the Meat Peers. Nah, let's uh, let's save her. I will save her. How how uh, how dare this peasant boy hurt my friend? I will save her. Exactly, punish the peasant. Exactly. I wish it would give that option, like, when you're, when, again, when you're arbitrary and stuff like that, I wish it would give you that option. Natalie P, coming in with some trees and a super chat. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. As you've heard me say countless times, it really helps support the channel, helps support the streams, keeps it all sustainable. Thank you so very much. And honestly, I'm losing my mind right now that there's a tree super chat, super sticker, and, 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 and of course, you'd find it. <laughs> oh, man. It was good to forget all responsibilities for a while and spend time with the other children, but I'm told I have to return to my duties now. We all had so much fun, and hopefully we can do this again soon. I'm 14. Oh, Natalie, because I climbed a tree. Uh, I was, you know what I was thinking, but that, 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 that's excellent as well. <laughs> Until next time. That's actually pretty good. That's, that's, uh, I should do that event more often. Still can't afford your release, eh? Oh, Loki, what are you up to here? Secret revealed. Oh. Meow. <laughs> I look down to see that my cat Loki has dropped a scroll at my feet. Sealed in my courtier public's distinct style. Giving into curiosity, I skim the text. The love I hold for another. To think that he was hiding such a thing, or the world must know of this. No, 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 no. We'll hold this secret close to our heart. I'm sure it'll be of some use at some point. And you're right, we're only 14 and our intrigue is already 24. Wow, that, that genius is helping a lot. Yo, we're going to have a field day when we come of age. That Pope is ours when the time comes. To think that he was hiding such a thing. I didn't actually notice that. Good spot. 24 intrigue at 14. I mean, now that, now that we've said it out loud, watch, something's going to happen that'll uh, take it away from us. Prince Saba formed a new alliance, might join the war against the tyranny of Queen Mikova as an enemy. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. More than. <laughs> well done, you punched a peasant on election day. <laughs> Listen, they can't vote. <laughs> Not in this era. What, what, did these guys just turn around and, and leave? They did, didn't they? Alright, well, let's head up over here anyway. Station besiegers and, and spread out a little bit. 
I don't want my people to starve pointlessly. Already losing 500 soldiers in this crossing over here. Come on, there you go. Let's get the rest of you moving over this way. Try and get this interception over here. Crush this army. Bring these guys up as well. I don't even know like where to send them. I guess we could try and... They've got the Anagras and stuff, right? Onagers, Anagras, I never know. Uh, get them up over here and, 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 and get some work done, I suppose. This will only take a handful of months, so we're fine. And hopefully we'll get this interception. There it is. Beautiful. Crush him. Beauty. <laughs> nice and easy. Nice and easy. How is this war not already done? Another 600 down over here. Let's see if we can't um, shut these guys down on the retreat. <laughs> Canadian tradition punching a peasant on election day. Oh my god. Hidden knowledge. There are certain things that my cousin Halthor has told me that no one else ever speaks of. We never delve long on these topics, and I know better than to ask questions. However, this evening, something feels different between us. As we sit down to read, he asks if there is anything I'm curious about. Ooh, there we go. There's that uh, witchcraft coming through. Yes, tell me everything, please. Beautiful, we're a witch. Now, we're not old enough to take our brother on just quite yet, but as soon as we are, we will. As soon as we are, we will. Almost done here. These guys are moving down. I don't think we'll even get here in time. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, I need to unpause for that. How did my empire get so big before 1000 AD, and why is it not crumbling at every succession? Oh, ho, 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 ho. you've just missed the crumblings that have happened. We literally moments ago had a massive independence war where Scotland, Sweden, Bohemia, and Greater Poland uh, all tried to, to get independence. Previously, at one point, when we had only just gained Scandinavia, um, we had our realm fall apart and we're left with basically nothing. Um, and we had to take it all back. So we've, we've definitely struggled along the way. But uh, patience, putting the right people in jail, executing the right people, um, and, uh, a a a and dealing with rebellions with an iron fist, I would say, is, is how it happened. <laughs> Alexis, how's it going, buddy? We've, we've definitely had our struggles. Oh, this, this, I mean, we've grown extremely large. Oh, the other thing is having powerful vassals. Having powerful vassals makes a huge difference. Um, because they'll do work for you. They'll gain territory. A lot, in fact, all of uh, Eastern Europe, uh, everything to, uh, to, to the east of like Ger modern-day Germany, this is all my vassals doing. In fact, part of uh, the easternmost parts of uh, Germany, in fact, modern-day Germany, uh, are, uh, are my vassals' work as well, I think. They've done a lot. Powerful vassals are a good thing. We've got uh, Prince Ksaba. You could say we uh, rocked the Kasaba. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I we should be able to disband our army at this point. I imagine peace will be forthcoming. 100% war score. There it is. We won the war led by Queen Mikova, the foolish of Novgorod. Oh, dear. Maybe I should break this betrothal. Um, What did I... Did I not gain anything from this? Are you, are you for real? Anyway, at least we helped. We can... We, we've gained pride. We've gained pride. So be it. You gotta go be sorrowful. Well, thanks for coming through. Have yourself a wonderful Monday. I'm glad to hear you had fun. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for coming through. Uh, in your game, you want from an empire to a vassal duchy because of the partition succession and two civil wars at once. Oh, <laughs> that is rough, man. That's a rough hand. That is a rough hand. I, uh, in my first attempt at playing Iceland, you can watch it. It's one episode. It's called the Iceland Speed Run. Things did not go so well. <laughs> Let me tell you, don't fight bears when you're pregnant. And that's real life advice too, I guess. But uh, don't fight bears when you're pregnant. Uh, war with France, I think, is, uh, is, a, is a fitting thing. Still get that duchy, right? Get this duchy over here. It wouldn't be the quickest of wars. We could try and spread some of our influence down over here instead to bring us to our conclusion today, maybe. Conquer this county here instead. A couple of quick wars. They do have some allies. Oh, Queen Mikova is a, is a double ally. It's a double agent over here. What about you? Who's in charge here? I declare war on you. Not a holy war. Conquer the duchy. Sure. 5,400 strong. Invade kingdom. If we do an invade kingdom, we'd uh, we'd go up over here to stop. So here's my plan. Here, Okay, let's, let's really quickly talk about plans. Um, also, I'm so glad Streamlabs didn't crash today. So, Spindle, if you're watching the VOD, thank you, buddy. 
you had the solution to the problem. So that that's 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 huge. The next time you bump into Spindle in the Discord, <laughs> make sure to uh, if if you are if you are grateful, <laughs> make sure to, to to give credit where it's due. But here are my plans. I'm thinking we declare a war to conquer the Duchy of Champagne, right? We we Champagne or how how the hell you say it? We we go ahead and and, and take this, right? Uh, and then we go ahead and subjugate this man up over here. We could do the kingdom invasion as well, but if we go for the subjugation, you will see that we get everything, right? So I'm thinking we go for the subjugation and get everything. Have a bit of a uh, bit of West Francia, then go up over here for war, take all of this. We'll come of age, uh, continue to take uh, West Francia, a bit more territory, and then kidnap the uh, the Pope when we unlock kidnapper. Have our party celebrate the year 1000, the turning of the millennium, right? We could Burgundy. Why, 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 why Burgundy? I mean, I guess we could do. Okay, how about this then? Um, we could invade the Kingdom of Burgundy. We could conquer the Duchy of Champagne, and we could. Um, what's the? I'm forgetting the word. Subjugate King Amot here. Those are three pretty large land grabs. Those are three pretty large land grabs, actually. And we could probably do them pretty uh, quick. Oh my god, Burgundy, what, what happened to you? Oh my god. Now, they can afford some mercenaries, perhaps, but uh, with their capital right up over here, right next to our border... Ah. Uh, you kidding me? You for real? <laughs> enough prestige to, oh that's a good question enough prestige to do it all i i think so 4800 let's see now you only get the one kingdom invasion war let's not forget so this would cost us 2000 okay so we'll be down to 2800 2800 minus i could also use piety if need be 2800 minus 375 2800 that's 2,500, let's say 2,400 for easy math, 2,400 left over, 2,400, subjugation, 1,250, wow, we, we do have enough free real estate, that's a good way to put it, <laughs> Burgundy needs to tweak that shade of red a bit, yeah, we gotta tweak it a bit and make it, uh, make it navy bluish purplish, <laughs> Burgundy more like Burgundy, I love it, <laughs> I love it, but yeah, we got prestige for it all, who are the provinces of ham and pineapple for our for our slices over here? No, for real though. This is uh this is good. This is good. This is a huge opportunity. Good spot there with that uh, strength, uh, really low strength there. No allies or anything. So we will do one, two, three massive land grabs, and uh, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get the pope as well. But all that, folks, will have to wait until next time. Uh, this is, I think, we're going to call it a session. I don't want to kick off, you know, three new wars right now. I think it'll be a nice way to kick off our next session, which will be, of course, Monday of next week uh, at the same time, 10 a.m. Eastern. And uh, the, the adventures will continue. If you had a good time today, folks, do not forget to hit that like button on your way out. Smack that like button like we smack down all these rebellions and independence factions and ne'er-do-wells. Smack that like button on your way out, folks. And let me know that you had a good time, because if you did, it uh, really helps me make some uh, decisions on the channel, what I should and should not do, and uh, what I should, uh, you know, what I should maybe focus on on the channel. Um, but it's, it's, it's always great to have such a crowd show up and, and just hang out. Uh, for me, it's a really fun way to kick off uh, the week and, and kick off my Monday. So thank you all for coming through. Uh, thank you as well for the uh, super chats today and the super stickers. I greatly appreciate it. Again, that kind of stuff really helps the channel, really helps the uh, the, the streams. And also, uh, I appreciate it greatly. Oh, no. Paula, what happened to you? I just noticed this. They've been fractured. Damn. Well, they've been replaced by an alliteration, so I guess I shouldn't be too upset. But, uh, and over here, we've had a huge change shift in, 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 in power as well. But anyway, folks, as I was saying, <laughs> thank you all for coming through. Hope you all uh, had a, a good time. I do, in fact, yes, have to go uh, go to the uh, election offices and, and get my vote in and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully it goes easily because I can actually record uh, afterwards. But uh, thank you all for coming through. Of course, no session is truly over until... I can give a massive thanks to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. So thank you so very, very much for that support month after month, year after year for many of you. I do have to update this. I do apologize if uh, I've, uh, I, I didn't get a chance to update it this weekend. So I do apologize for that. 
but I will get that done this week. And uh, the names that were added last week will be uh, on full display. Folks, don't forget to join our Discord either. There's that uh, link in chat as well. Fantastic place to hang out with some fantastic folks. Uh, link is in chat. It's also in the uh, description always. Don't uh, don't hesitate to join in on the fun. Again, a fantastic place to, to just chill and, and have a good time. Again, folks, as I, as I express my gratitude, it is limitless for all of y'all who uh, watch, whether you're watching live or you're watching the VOD. Wouldn't be here without each and every one of you. Until next time. Cheers.